first couple of weeks and he's already fucking bingo the bango. What the fuck did he do today? No, Nothing. It's not, it's not just today, man. Who are we talking about? You. Ndombele. Oh, okay. He's right. Spurs. Yeah. Yo, he's a he's baller, nice man. No, first well, season. Look, like, first year blues and all that look, shit, he's man. Doing okay. Not yeah, even, not doing even blues, his, man. Look, not even blues, you're right. His position right now isn't like something you can say, oh, he has this many goals or that many assists. It's just... How many interceptions does he have? Uh, does he shut down the the other team? Like it's just it is what it is. Does he connect all his passes? So it's it's harder to decide whether he's having a great no, season. When, yet but not. when you see him on the ball, man, he's smooth. He can defend. Yeah, he's not. He's, he's he'll, not he'll, got a dude, bust. He'll, he'll run all day with that guy. You he's, know he's, he's nice. dynamic. He's dynamic. He's nice, but he's not nice enough to keep the Spurs afloat. Well, Spurs locker room, I think, is in a little bit of turmoil here. Christian Eriksen's still on six months. Um, but before we really delve too deep into into all that Spurs bullshit. The misery of Spurs. Um, PFC 316, Premier League match day Stone 11. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Review. What up? 316, <laughs> baby. Three, Austin 316. Yeah. Stone, Stone Cold Austin Sonny. 316, Stone Cold I just Sonny. whooped yes. Yeah, man. Um, by the way, PFC Nation, uh, Snacks and Huss just got... Stone Cold Stunned in FIFA hey. right now. A little PFC battle. Oh my God. How many shots do you get off the post right to your foot? Oh, I mean, how many times do you allow us in behind? We hit you with a few RKOs. <laughs> yeah. so. I mean, you gotta it, was like, it was like once or twice. And how many times they come right back to you? Once or twice. Hey, it hey a wise is. man once told me, finish your dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. No, you didn't finish your dinner. The point is, your mother said, hey, have another helping. Keep eating. And they and, gave it right back to your foot. And I said, thank you, mom. And I ate it all up. Hey, you didn't eat the first caveman. round, though. You didn't eat the first round. <laughs> caveman, though. No, you tried to eat the You choked on the first one. It was a little raw. It was a, no. It was, <laughs> so now you had to put it back in the oven. Now you're blaming your mom. Yeah, you had to put it back in the oven. Now you're blaming your mom who gave you the food. It was the first <laughs> game. <laughs> Liverpool away to Aston Villa at Villa Park. Uh, this was a battle. This was an intense one. Um, for those who did not watch the match, epic ending here. Uh, we'll just go from back to front. Yeah, Mane. Ridiculous, man. Getting a game win off of a corner kick near post delivery. Mane FC. It is. Mane FC. Even when he's not scoring, he's winning penalties. He hustles more than Salah. Well, I wouldn't say Mane FC again because when one player on Liverpool isn't stepping up, the other one is. You keep which saying is that, but I haven't but, seen Firmino in like two years. Uh, well, I mean, well, you're you're not you're not you've never said Firmino FC. It's more about Mane. And, Salah. Yeah, but dude, and I'm the not, point I'm, of it is, is that yeah, right now, great Mane AFC right now. Dude, yeah, Mane is stepping first, up and he's first, taking his first, game to another level. Dude, the first but, ten, the first ten games has been all Mane. Yeah, he's been great. And like, no, Salah, not even just the first no, ten, like so, last like I'm twenty just, I'm something for this season. Yeah, this season you, you're 100 percent right, but it's been like the last twenty something goals. Goal wise, Mane. yes, go, he's, he's he's a top yeah. goal scorer. I think in 2019. Correct me if I'm wrong for Liverpool. Uh, all, all competitions. That I think is. yeah, Vardy's leading the the EPL. All com- no, just yeah. for Liverpool. Yeah, I mean. for Liverpool, minus all competitions. Well, I think at but first, but it's just just his overall play, man. Like it doesn't matter if if Salah's out of form, man. Like he's just he's like he's messy. up and down. He, he walks, makes things happen. He's he dangerous. Walks, but he gets that ball, man. He'll score a goal because he's, he's world class. That left yeah, foot I, is incredible. I, I, but it's just the off the ball stuff, man. Like he gives you nothing when he's having a bad day. Where Mane, bad game or not, bad game or not, the guy's there. That's true, man. He's he's hungry, man. He's working. Salah doesn't run. Quietly. back. He doesn't track back as much Quietly. as he used to. Salah, but well, we shouldn't. It's the role of the team. It's the messy Neymar situation where he's not supposed to track back as much as Mane. But what we're saying is, you ain't messy, Salah. You Neymar, at least for this year. So okay. how about you do some tracking back for once? Look, no, no, I don't. I don't fully agree with that because whatever they're doing is working. It is what it is. I don't know you guys have went down in your last what two or three games. You guys have went down a goal, so yeah. you you keep showing heart. Liverpool, the character, the character is definitely there, but you cannot continue conceding the first goals of the match. But this is what I said last week, where with Virgil Van Dijk when he first came in, it almost seemed like you literally could not score on Liverpool. It was almost like invincibility, and this year. It's kind of like the, with the De Gea analogy that... No one's scared, you know. Yeah. It's not so much even that they're scared. It's just that they're not making the plays. They're not They're not invincible anymore. Mm-hmm. They're, they're letting people open. They're not tracking back. Or, or it's because you, you only have one se- You only have one center back. That's why. And it's starting to show. No, I wouldn't say <laughs> that. Van, Van Dyke can't, no, Van Dyke can't do it all by himself. Keep Van playing Lovren. I know, but there's no one there to cover his ass. Matip is what I'm saying. I'm saying I'm saying Van Dyke's covering everyone else's ass. Matip's been out for a couple of games. Lovren's been getting some starts. Lovren sucks, dude. I agree. Virgil van Dijk <laughs> was better than two other center backs in the world. That's how dominant he was. Yeah, but that was for what? Only a few months. No, it was for a full year and a half. 
when he first came to Liverpool two January. All right, and he's dropped off now a little yeah. bit. So but, like he went from a ninety three to a ninety. No, cool. He went from like a ninety seven to like a ninety two. All right, now you're over hyped. Okay. Now you're over I wouldn't say ninety seven, no, but uh, yeah, last year ninety seven is Messi Ronaldo level. And as a defender, he was a Messi. No, no, I don't. Hmm, I would. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So okay, I thought I thought I it's, thought Virgil Van Dijk was the player that beat those two out into. Hundred you know, percent, he did. Some large award. Hundred percent, he did. But still, like. So if he's better in the all right, let's. Point, why was he not better than them that year? Let's compare Virgil Van Dyke amongst the greatest about, defenders no, of all I'm time. About that year, I'm talking about this past year. If he beat the two plays at a 97, 97. Okay. And he beat them on, off of, off of team not, off of team um, performance, and we know that the majority of Ballon d'Or or European Player of the Year. Is based off of your team success. So Liverpool won the Champions League. Who was the best player on Liverpool? Virgil Van Dijk. He was the most consistent player. He was the rock. Yeah, albeit like the front means, three. He was a beast. Here, that means the he was a beast. backs can move up further. They can stay up longer. Is Virgil Van Dijk an all-time great defender? Is he one yeah, of I the think, best think, defenders I, of all time? I don't think yet, but he's on his way, man. I mean, if he gives you a year and a half, which he's given Liverpool now, and then that's it. It's like, right, he was, he was a blip. I mean, he's twenty. He's twenty eight years old now. He's no. He's no spring chicken. No. So he's got to do it for a few more years to be remembered as one of the greats. But he does have the Champions League. I mean, that's about it. It's all he has right now. Yeah. But that. That's I mean. That's the biggest. That's Max Lopez with Celtics though. With Celtic, which is a granted, but he's still. But no one's gonna remember that. You know, no, no, no one's gonna think about that when it comes down to the to the reckoning day. It's gonna be what did he, what did he achieve with Liverpool? Did he win a league title? How dominant was he? How how is Liverpool going to defend their? I think their we're also League sleeping crown? on Netherlands because Netherlands. Well, has now the Netherlands just come back, back now, right? No, it took took four years, five years. Yeah, yeah. Right. Missing two tournaments on this, the bounce, and age, he was a part of that team. This day and age, the defenders can stay at top quality till thirty two to thirty four years old. Uh, I I think he has a solid four to five years at being a top level player. If he can do that. He goes down as one of the greatest. But it also depends on what Liverpool win, how many goals they concede, and all that mumbo jumbo. Yeah, because if you guys win the league this year, and it's looking like another championship run. Man City the was luck. super amped up because they, they were away at Southampton, and it was a little bit tricky. You figured they'd blast them, bless them no way. 9-0. You no figured way, that, okay, man. They, I they'd just, beat we'll get to that game before. 4-5-0 or, or something like that. They That's struggle. the worst time to play a team, though, is mm. the following game because mm. it's their chance to prove themselves. They're going to come out guns blazing. Yeah. You know, we'll, we'll get to that, but yeah. Liverpool again, man, so frustrating, so annoying. You see, you see the game in the top right hand corner of the screen when you if you're watching the City game instead at the same time. You see one nil Villa. Holy shit! Let's go Villa. Take them down. Liverpool away to Villa, newly promoted side. Of course, that cross was unbelievable. Late on, Andy Robertson gets the goal, assisted by who? Trent Sadio Mane. Oh, no. no. No, it was Mane. Oh, yeah. I just I just watched it. It was Mane right. who crossed it with the oh, yeah, we just skip it over there. The first goal? Are we just skipping over there? I, I mean, I was trying to get into it, but Bird over yeah. here was oh, sorry. Yeah, he when wanted you to say jerk. phenomenal cross, I thought you meant the our Aston Villa go for Yeah, that M- M- McGinn. And, and that brings up another Dude, McGinn, thing. McGinn's been balling. But not only that, but that brings up another thing about Liverpool where Allison, are you as great as people have said you are, or are you just healing I genu- I, I've genuinely believed for the entire time that allison has been in the Premier League I've always thought Ederson was better no well, no, but he was making those type <laughs> of saves remember the saves that he made uh, yeah he no Allison was he was no, no, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to knock but, him but what but I'm the, saying the point sorry. is right now a normal Allison last year makes that save yeah but at, at the same time he's got a better defense in front of him Like, and I think Lovren is He's a squad role guy. You know how I felt about Lovren since the end of the World Cup. Basically, I've been saying that was his that was his peak, the and now rose. he's he's kind of like I think you could, you should upgrade on him. You he's got a decent, upgrade decent on decent defender, him. but again, Virgil Van Dijk as well. His levels dropped off some, but Liverpool still continue winning, guys. Regardless of what, irregardless well, of what you want to Liverpool, say, they keep winning. Liverpool on crosses, man. That's their weak point. They don't defend why they don't defend well from the wings. They can get caught in transition because they're so high up yeah, as well. Yeah, both of their fullbacks are susceptible. The, I think I think Robertson is far and away better defensively than Trent Alexander Arnold is, but they're both susceptible defensively. And like they're both set pieces, they're both set young they've though, and they've conceded a number of set piece goals as well. So these are just a few things that Klopp's gonna have to iron up. But like Tom was saying earlier, this is a championship run, and like they're being led by cha- when I say championship, I don't mean the the championship. I mean championship players like. 
Sadio Mane. I mean, that goal by Sadio Mane. Dude, that in was the a, 93rd was or ridiculous, 94th. ridiculous, man. It was bullshit. And I think if someone... It was bullshit, was, dude. Was how, some, do you, how do you score that header, man? someone on the back post. If they touch it, I think it's offside as well. So, uh, so I think, I think Ar- 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 was, was coming in late. But that, dude, that header was... That, look, that was, dude, that header was, that was flawless, flawless man. Dude, a glancing just, header. Two defenders on you. Near post. Put it back. Fade away. It was the equivalent of a fade away. Ridiculous. That's great that Mane did, but that's bigger than Mane right now. That's awesome that he finished that ball. But the... Not only the cross on the corner was great, but it's the buildup of the team. Look, they're going to give everyone in Liverpool a heart attack this year because they're, they're letting up early goals, and all these goals are coming so late, which I don't think anyone in Liverpool approves of. But the point is, once they got that goal, you just saw it, another gear. It was just like magic. Yeah, I mean, where everyone, if you didn't feel that there was another goal coming on or a, a very good chance, I don't know if you were even watching the game. No, that's typically what happens, man. Goals change games. That's why the, that's what the saying goes. So that's how we, the saying we goes. Saw, we yeah. saw it in Man City match day one or two when they had that guard just load for VAR, uh, just load for handball. Uh, Gabby Jesus got the goal. Remember, it was a big controversial talking point of that game. Yeah. But again, they scored the goal. They need one more. 90th minute, like you felt it and it happened. And then a bullshit call on VAR. I mean, VAR was brought in three times in, in this game alone. Klopp Dude. was criticizing it afterwards, saying it doesn't help the game or it's it's not helping yet. It's more well, confusing because- than anything. Uh, what's his name? Firmino scored a header, but he was cheating. He was offside. He's oh, offside oh, by oh, an only, only way he can score. So, so Again, man, an armpit. Armpit. Dude, it's such bullshit. This so he's offside by maybe it, one centimeter? Dude, not even. Was he offside, though? Well, here's the thing. Dude, they, yeah. serious, they seriously need to ana- uh, an- an- analyze, analyze how, they, how they determine offside. In, in armpit well, length, like, how off- can you even lasers. see that? It's lasers, it's ridiculous. guys. The reason why the offside rule, like, rule itself was created was to stop people from cherry-picking the goal. So, like, yeah, like, this being, like, that toe or toenail offside. A shoelace. Like a shoelace, like maybe your pinky's up because it's on a splinter. Yeah, but, or but put your pinky like, down. At the same put time, your pinky down. But at the same time, managers and players, you're complaining now because of VAR. But guess what? If a goal goes against you exactly. and they're a foot off sides, yep. guess what? You're complaining about the referee not catching no, it. I, I, no, I because the referees cannot win in this even situation. Even if he's half of a foot off sides, then it's a matter of get it right. And for me, as long as you get it right, I'm all good. Just get the call right. I don't care how long it takes even. Some people are frustrated by the amount of time. If you get the call right, I'm all good with it. But it's a tough situation because right now there's a, at least in Massachusetts, there's a referee, a referee epidemic where there's not enough referees for the games. Look, the game has been growing a lot. So there's probably a three times the amount of games as there were, what, 15 years ago. But a lot of referees are now not either quitting or not signing up because of the abuse that they're taking from fans and coaches. But, You're part no, of the problem, but, Huss. But along, no, no, no. I mean, at times, probably. Yeah. <laughs> but the point, but the point is, um, these referees. If you want VAR, then shut up. If you don't VAR, then shut up. Either way, unless if it's egregious. Look, like the the tackle from Son. Obviously, we'll talk about that later on. If like if he only got a yellow card, that's egregious. That's when you can complain. Yeah. But if someone's a foot off sides, guess what? If you get rid of VAR, shut up. You can't say a word now because no, you man. you VAR had it at one does, point. Now you can't. VAR I like does VAR. More good. It's just that they have to clean it up. They have to. They have to. Um, this is the clean first up, but year, but also it. make it quicker. This is the first year with it, man. Yeah. It will. It will become more year. and more efficient. No, in the EPL. More- in the, in the Premier League, it's the first official year with VAR. Have they didn't sure? have it last year, hundred percent. Champions sure. League had it. I feel like they had it Champions last year. Champions League, everywhere else, pretty much had it except for England. England sure? wanted to wait. I'm a hundred percent sure. I this bet. Is confusing, man. I bet my like left nut on it. That's how sure I am. I bet my left nut on it. Um, moving Jesus on to Christ. the next game, Manchester City. Leaving it late. Leaving it late against Southampton, who caught him with a sucker punch here, man. Southampton would. Would strike first in this match here. James Ward Prowse. JWP, 13 minutes in. Anticipation, kids. We say it all the time. Follow up on the rebounds. He's the only man moving Dude, after talk, the shot comes. Talking about Edison. That was a mistake. It was hor- a, horrendous uh, error. Which all, go- all goalies make it. Snacksy. What, what you got to say about Edison this game, bro? Yeah, no. But I still think he's better than Allison. All right. It's just crazy, man, that a, a, a goal like that. <laughs> I don't know what you don't know what you're looking for. A, a, a goal like that, Going man, a, little, a duff and a, and a bobble by Ederson. Simple mistake, but dude, City was chasing this game the whole time, mm. and they had chances. They had chances. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne came close with a free kick in the second half, and as minutes ticked on, man, twenty minutes left. It's like, dude, are they going to score? Because I mean, Liverpool at the time was losing. Yeah, City yeah. was losing. 
And then City managed to tie up with Aguero, man. Kev- uh, Kyle Walker flying down the line. Beautiful Who else, fucking- man? The hero, dog. This dude Aguero's still doing it. Be- still doing better it. Better than Harry Kane. Look, he looked a lot better than Gabby, I think, this game. Because he, he is. Because he well, is. Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's what I feel. That's he's one of the I best of all well. time. Wait, I feel that way as well. But I think in two years, he might still be better than Gabby. I uh, think. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm saying that Aguero age. just had that special. Maybe one. But that age, special ability two? to just. No, no, no. Age will Aguero slow has that down. special ability to just get a goal. It already has slowed him down to an extent. Gabby Jesus doesn't? Not as much as Aguero. Not as much as Aguero, but he's also younger than Aguero. Okay. He's got. Strikers instincts, Gabi Azuz. No, no, no. He's going to be a really good player. Just he's going to be Aguero. I think the two. No, he's not going to be Aguero because Aguero's a legend. You know what I mean? But dude, this dude hasn't gotten the enough. He hasn't received enough playing time, Gabi Azuz. He really but, hasn't. Yeah, but you know, uh, and he's willing to play right wing. He came out this week. He was like, "Look, but, man, I play play me out wide as long as I'm getting game time." Before we before we just just like dive right into City, that first goal, James Ward Prowse underground baller. Or well, future future underground baller. Eh, no what? way. Yes. No. His only chance, he's his only chance the... is that he's got three names. What? He yeah. also has one Sean of the best Phillips. Free, he has one of the best free kicks in the league, in my okay. opinion. No doubt. Uh he's also going to probably be in the league probably for like fifteen years when he retires. Dude, where where was where was he last year, the year before that? Man, he's been a ghost for like a year over a year. He was a ghost. Look at the team he's on too. Every single team that he's been on, if there's been a good play, he's usually gone to Liverpool. For me, I think, look. And that he, Liverpool team just won Champions League. He had a moment when he but was kind of threatening to break into the English Pep national said he was team. one of the better players he's ever played against. No doubt, no doubt. So, the respect has been shown there. Um, but, I don't know, man. Future underground well, baller. I, I we'll think see. So. Yeah, for I me, think, it will be well, the, the three yeah. name. But, um, but Southampton losing 9 nothing, coming back, playing the Champions. Well, I don't want to hear this moral but the, victory but the shit. Point, but the point is, yeah, they lost. But at least it was respectable. And, yeah, it's zero points, but they came out flying. Yeah, they did themselves, they, they did themselves but, justice. But they need to come out every single week that way. And, again, that's the difference between champions and teams like Southampton. I mean, Southampton, there's bigger difference. I get you. I, I, agree. I agree. There's no, with their there's no effort. They're inconsistent with their touch. Their inconsistencies let them down. And they gave up in that last game. But at least I was actually wondering how they would come out here because, so again, look, if they're – if they got no balls, City might win this game twelve nothing. But they came out flying. So again, and they they changed the keeper. Um, I mean Angus Gunn, you get blasted nine nil. It's like yeah, you're, your confidence is going to be way Frazier low. Forster? Was he in that or McCarthy? Uh, McCarthy, Alex McCarthy. And McCarthy City had chances. Yeah, McCarthy man. did well, man. He made a couple of big saves second half, but it just wasn't enough. And the resiliency. I mean, the best thing about Pep Guardiola football is that nothing changes. The system doesn't change. The style of play doesn't change. The game wears on. The chances will still come. You, no, no, no. you, you trust, you trust the system. McCarthy sucked. He barely had any uh, saves. He made a couple good saves that came right at him. He picked the ball up right off the the free kick that they said he got a free kick. What twelve yards out because he got a ball passed back to him off a set piece and he didn't. Oh, oh, what do I do? What do I do? He picked it up. Then the goal was his fault. It just no. The guy sucked. Which goal was his fault? The second, the second one is ball. he batted he it came down. Out and he went out with an open hand trying to push it. And he got it with fingertips. You go out there with a fist and you punch that ball out of the box. I think that's a fair point. I think it's McCarthy just... McCarthy um, He had a bad game. I don't, yeah, no. See, I don't think he sucked, though. Uh, especially he sucked. especially under the pressure game, he was under. Um, it's just a dude, I think, who was who was rusty as fuck. Who, he just I don't, he didn't get that game time. But he, Pl- go ahead. Player who uh, played really well making his first start for the club. Not McCarthy. Okay. Uh, Angelino playing at left back. My he, fucking dude. He uh, was the one who crossed in the winner for Kyle Walker. Put it on a dime for him. He looked lively dude, the entire Angelino. Game. Snacks. Dude. Snacks. What, oh, we fucking we put him in FIFA all the time. <laughs> snacks. You coming out with the Angelino bullshit? Why put Angelino in now? Because he's fucking nice. Didn't do that for you today, dude. Bro. My my thing. I didn't need Angelino. We didn't get today. city. We didn't get city, bro. Uh, uh, but okay. Here's why, the, look, here's my thing. See, like when you when you're great. For a sustained amount of time, for a sustained period of time, we overlook you. This is what we do. We do it with Messi, we do it with Ronaldo. Who are you talking about? We do it with Benzema. I'm talking about Kyle like Walker, Hossie? guys. Uh, I you Fucking me. Kyle <laughs> Walker was man of the match, goal and an, an assist. assist from the right back position, showing so much heart. 
Especially with I, like I, replacement coming in in the summer, he's, he's dude, balling. You he's want, you want, yeah, he's kept you want consistency. On the bench. The, the league title is a marathon. You want consistency. He's one of the main reasons. I mean, they spent what fifty three million on him. He's to, a rock to get him off Spurs. He's a rock, dude. He, I mean, they built that back line from scratch two three years ago, and he's the reason why they've won two leagues in a row. He's not one, of, he, one of, he, he's, sure. one he's, of the, he's one dude, of he's one of the, one of the main reasons cause, dude, he gets up the field he still bombs on dude he's he's lights out he's still he's 29 years old but he's still got the pace he's all the shit dude Pep Guardiola needs fullbacks in his system. You look at Jordi Alba. Almost you look at what he now. did with Joshua Kimmich. David Alaba. He needs full, fullbacks are one of the most important pieces to what Honestly, Pep Guardiola nowadays, wants it's to do. Probably other than maybe goalkeeper and striker, it might be the nope. most important nope. position. Depends on hold, your system no, for it. sure. Dude, your, system, your system, when we played you guys, what was it, two weeks ago now? We neutralized your fullbacks, and you didn't grow into the game until they got free. Oh, I didn't talk about Pep. Pep, it's always the holding midfielder. That's the most important player on the field. I don't Yes, it is. I'm not arguing about for the, the most. Like, you guys can go yes, at it. That's his most important that. player. But it's the integral. Point. To me, the fullbacks are integral. Because if he doesn't have good fullback, you saw Zabaleta's old ass. And it was a Gail Clichy at the time. And Sanya. Fernandino and, and Roddy. Dudes. Fernandino and Roddy. Those are the can't two most important players for Pep. It's a player who can control the field from the middle. Yeah, it's maybe, his old yeah. position. The quarterback. Yes. I don't, doubt that. I don't is, doubt that. That is, that is his number one uh uh, position on the field. Look, just to talk about McCarthy real quick and the heart of Southampton, 26 shots, only four on net. He had two saves. Two saves in that game. Also, 13 of those 26 shots, blocked. So, outstanding so for hard. Southampton, bad for McCarthy, and this game was probably more about City rather than Southampton. Huh? City, City were wasteful, man. With the City, City, well, they were just missing. The, they are just missing. A.K.A. they were wasteful, man. They were, they were all around the box constantly the whole second yeah. half, too. Like, they, could, they couldn't get the, hit the target. Aguero was cowish. Before he got his goal, man, like he was almost crying because mm. the pressure was there. 70th minute, he got a ball across, duffed it, and you saw his face, man. But then he gets that one off Kyle Walker, and after that, man, you knew it was only a matter of time before City got the winner. And what a winner it was, man. And look, man, they, to Kyle and they're Walker. threatening. I don't How think Liverpool are front that runners. Not yeah. the goal, but the celebration. He slid for like 15 <laughs> yeah. yards. Dude, you don't score a lot of goals back there, man. Yeah, like, man. You, know, you got to go nuts. You got to go nuts what you do, man. Uh, now, the Foxes. Guys, so look. Typically, PFC, we like to stick to with traditional top six in terms of reviewing the show. You know what, guys? We got to put some respect on Leicester City's name right here. I think this, I think this is the introduction champions I think Leicester's legit this year. I think they're going to make top four now. Like, the way I've been looking at them, Brendan Rodgers, what he's done with this team. Um, they, they go away to Crystal Palace. They beat Palace in Palace, which isn't easy. Palace have the best songs, by the way. Of course. In the EPL. This is well documented. Atmosphere is absolutely amazing. I think we bring that up all the time. <laughs> well, I, I just got to remind the people. Dude, I, I swear to you, though, man. 2-0 Leicester City. If Liverpool slips up, which they probably won't, if City slip up, which they might, I think Leicester's going to be there, man, because they have they have nothing they have nothing to lose. They have everything they have everything to play for. The confidence. If anyone slips up, man, they'll take second. If anyone slips, they'll take first. I mean, Look, barring any major injuries or or defeats to, to, depth, the, to the top six, shaky, it's so man. balanced. It's what's, one wait, of the most what's balanced shaky? teams. Their depth, no doubt. Uh, Their depth, uh, depth, shaky depth. It's Morgan, not, man, Gray, hey, but hey, it's, it's like Liverpool. Who's man. the first person? West Morgan. Morgan. Dude, Damari Gray. He's, he's gonna an come off the bench. Dude, he's, a, dude, he's an hey, NPL hey, it's, winner, it's, experienced listen, dude. Harvey Bonds is Harvey Bonds coming off the bench. Damari Gray uh, coming uh, off the bench, Harvey depending. Be I, I'm just saying, it's a yeah, Nacho. Uh, uh, hey, Brighton coming off the bench. This is two career Leicester goals in three years. Come it's like, it's, it's like it's I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's a little shaky. Dude, but it's, it's, dude how's Liverpool's depth? Fucking terrible. But it's it's about you plug someone in. If you plug somebody in, man, like he has the the game mentality. He has the. The game, the the game, the the team, st- the team shit. What I'm trying to say. I don't know. The, the team stuff. Depth. We're talking about depth. I know. Well, you, you they, it, Liverpool's a team. You bring someone on the field. They know how to play. They yeah. know. They know the system. Like they, they slide. You almost don't notice it. They're gonna be a little bit weaker. But everyone's hungry. Everyone's dying for the cause. Lester, everyone's dying for that cause. Like no, one, no one's gonna hold. No one's gonna bring you down. They're, they're a team. They're te- te- and, and guys, they they have experience. We sleep on. What like really the confidence, Vardy. the confidence that Casper comes with Schmeichel. winning a Premier League. Schmeichel. It's not like winning John an FA Cup or what was that Carabao stat? Cup. I think it was a once uh, Rodgers came in. What was it like nineteen goals in twenty one matches for Vardy oh, scoring, since Rodgers came in? Dude, before that, be, like crazy. Be, fucking what's his name was trying to phase Vardy out of the team. Yeah, yeah, that and dude, that's why, dude, Puel. you're gonna make Vardy upset. Oh, Claude Puel. So 
Vardy's installed back in. Dude, t- look at the bounce of the midfield. Didi, defensive. Tellymans, box to box. Madison. James Madison Number attacking. 10. So let me let me ask you guys Come on, this: man, this who, team, do you, I, who do you who do you think is Leicester's most important player? Jamie Vardy. Jamie Vardy, dude. Jamie Vardy, without a doubt. Vardy. He, how he carries the team, how he leads from the front. If he's on form, this is a different team. Grant, maybe, maybe. Grant, granted, snacks. The team behind him has them in fourth place or third place. You, no, you, you, you take. You take I'm so, not saying you guys are wrong. But no, I'm, I'm saying you take Sionko out or Madison's out there. Maybe they're like six to eight, you yeah. know. But Vardy's still keeping them relevant. And for me, if Jamie but with, Vardy, with that team behind Vardy, now you're looking at the top. If three. Jamie Vardy was like a lazy striker, like if he didn't press, if you just had to give him the ball and he did work, then maybe I could kind of see someone else. His influence on the game, man, he presses. It's the sort of intensity he brings to the game when he's pressed. Because remember, defense starts from the striker. A lot of people don't know that. They think, oh, we're just defending a low block. No. High pressure starts from the striker and him coordinating. Goes- you got a guy who could fucking sprint box to box all day. Pressure. He's leading by example. And he's scoring goals. Well, he sets the tone for the team. Well, for me, I th- I mean, I'm talking tactically. And I guess most important isn't really the right terminology. But I think it all switched. Ironically, Brendan Rodgers came in as the same exact time this player came in. But Yuri Tillemans. I think this team is in third place, and they're as good as they are. It's because, don't get it twisted. I think James Madison is insanely talented. Has yep. potential to be world class. And Didi, same thing. Jamie Vardy is a Premier League legend at this point. Whether you want to admit it or not. Oh, 100%. He's a Premier League legend. Dude, he's putting up, he's putting up Tillemans, like, 20 goals if you look a season. At, if you look at their second goal, it was his pass <laughs> to Vardy. That's nice. Like, he opened it up, right? He look, he's the link between... Right, like, he's the link, but that's Tillemans why it's so balanced. Deal, he man. was yeah. Remember, okay, he was, okay. He was, he was let's not take away from that goal. That to, goal was better than the pass. I, I thought that pa- that goal doesn't happen without that pass. Obviously, but the <laughs> point. Obviously, <laughs> yeah. if he doesn't get the yeah, ball, he can't. Dude. If Vardy doesn't have the ball, of course he can't score. But the point is the the touch and the shot of Vardy. I think that was better than the pass. The pass was still good, but I. All right, so here's Went the thing. Three Less- defenders, but not nah, okay. It's cool. Okay, so here's here's the thing. Standard shit, whatever. Leicester right now. In the last five years, I think that the third best ran club. The third best back office. So, the back room. So, I think it's just natural for them to be in third place right now. Because, look, Liverpool and City, I think they're doing magical things with their club. Other than that, I think Leicester. The the moves that they're doing, the the turnover that they've had. They lost two of the best players in the entire league. And their chairman. Yeah, and, and, and yeah, the owner. Yes, and... Passed and away, and they, they had a moment of silence too throughout could. all the games. Um, well, that was for veterans. And then they that, had, that's for uh, they had, November, I think. Yeah, that's Look, what I meant. They had they yeah. had older defensemen <laughs> with Morgan Huth. They just they had a phase out. Then they got McGuire. Okay, well, he just sold him for a wrecking amount. Yonku but, steps but up. Then My fucking man. You got, you, got, you, got, you got Evans coming in. Schmeichel has been outstanding. Vardy. I mean, Perez. Hey, was that Mons. Turkish? Ricardo Pereira. What's up, Ter- Nah. We just used that two examples. <laughs> that two no, examples. no, because you said his name ago. Yeah, that guy. But the point is, <laughs> dude, dude Sayonku so is a look fucking ball. You, you see Even the marching on the look, corner kick, man? That look, was shite. What look, is Crystal Palace doing that? I'm also, so glad Arsenal didn't get Gary also, Cahill. They got Chilwell. They got Chilwell over Liverpool, United, City. All yeah, they're telling these players something that what I don't know. What they're telling us, it comes with winning the Premier League, Leeds, right? Was he in Leeds? Chilwell. I don't know. I believe so. I can uh, check it out. But either way, check it up. It comes with winning the Premier League. They have the confidence, and they still have the experienced guys there who. Dude, but won. now they have England, England internationals. Mm. They, I mean, not just England. I mean, they have grown. They have, but Jamie Vardy's still in the international setup. James Madison breaking through. Chilwell's they breaking through. They spiked by winning the Premier League, and then remember they dropped off because they had made Champions League. They lost League, Conte, and, they, the and they then they lost, they lost Conte, Mar- 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 and then he finally left. So they Vardy went out of the around. top four again. Kind but of. dude, that team was disjointed. That team was a fluke. It was just Wes Morgan and, and Robert Huth. But Al, here's the great news, how you sustain it, right? I We all anticipated a drop-off. We all didn't expect to see Leicester run it, run it back and win a double. So, of course, there's a natural uh, decline. But to have the staying but power now, to stay relevant and not I get relegated, see not drop in the stability. Yeah. And that's the scary fucking part is these guys know how to do it. They've Brendan just fucking Rodgers, dude. No one said his name yet. No, no one said his name. No, no, I, I respect Tiki, Brendan Rodgers. Tiki in the group chat saying he, yeah. wanted, he, 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 he would have taken him at United. I think going to Celtic and winning uh, a sextuple back-to-back, all six or, or the treble back-to-back, six Bro. trophies in two years, hadn't been done before for Celtic. I mean, that just kind of like got his confidence up. He got to dick around with different formations and players. Any play. Scottish so, chick. So I, I was foolish. <laughs> yeah, was sin. Chill, Chill was an academy player from Put some Leicester. haggis on my nuts. He was a, he's an academy player from them. They loan him out to Huddersfield. Then he came Who's back. this? Chillwell. Chillwell. 
But um, Wait, where was he from? Academy. Yeah, Academy. Yay. I thought he. I thought he came from somewhere else, but it is what it is. But the point is, you were wrong. Uh, the way that they're not a surprise. <laughs> look, they've had multiple managers. Bangle, they've bangle. had multiple star players, minus Vardy and Schmeichel. They've had mul- um, multiple players coming in and out, but they always seem to be rebuilding. They're what hey, hey, I think everyone else thought Bournemouth was going to do as well, which they they're doing well. Multiply. But I think Leicester. If they keep this up, if they keep everyone, even after losing their their number one scout to Arsenal, let's finish finishing top four. That, they're finishing top four. Dude, you no, know, I'm you, saying they might be finishing top four multiple times. Dude, they have staying power now. Like they have relevant. They're relevant. They're they're relevant. I don't think, I don't as long as they don't get as long as they don't get now. poached and they keep their main players. I they mean, won't. I don't think. They I mean, Mass might leave. Chubo might they, leave. But like, why leave to a team that's why? Like, why why go to Spurs? Wilfred why, why go to United comes right out of now. nowhere. You lose Conte, that's but now all of a sudden Wilfred Ndidi is a murder. Twenty-two years old. Just pull the door. Twenty-two man, years old. Scout the correct guys, and that's been Manchester yeah. United's problem. That's been Arsenal's problem. Not identifying the correct talent. You go for it. You spend the money, but then it doesn't pan out in two, three years. So, so that's, that's a so big this key. summer, do you think Leicester should actually spend big on a player, or just keep doing what they're doing? They don't no, and spend. I say that I say spend. that because, I say that because of Zaha well, in this wh- game. Well, where's you their put, weakness? No, what I'm saying is you take Barnes off, you put Zaha on the left. That's vicious. That right there is a better roster than Arsenal. That's no dig at you. I'm just saying they don't have many holes. But but get some depth, obviously. But I don't know if they should spend big. They Maybe should. Just I don't know if you, you, I don't know if you want a guy like Zaha who's a completely. He's a selfish player, which is a good thing because he needs to take players on. But it kind of disrupts the, the dynamic. The I don't dynamic. think Zaha would. He's not that I don't selfish. Think he wa- I don't think he wants to be there per se. I well, think he wants to be at top, a bigger top club. Yeah. team. But not Dude, yeah, he but wants someone. Look at the pass that he had to Ayu. Look uh, in the game. There's it's no like, doubting Zaha's talent, right? And even oh, not his at all. Fit in Leicester, but just his style of play doesn't really fit suit Leicester's yeah, style what, of play. It's he, all unselfish uh, pass and move. Like it's a team. I with, think I think he could fit just because Mares fit and they they're, they're similar, similar in their true. game because they Coming can run at people right or left front. Rogers would have to win him in terms of defensive work rate, but Zaha doesn't like he works hard now. You yeah, know, he like, runs his I ass see, off. Yeah, no I see him what, busting he's, his he's ass. A worker, but man, props to Leicester. Crystal Palace a, little, a bit listless in this game. Um, they, I mean, they're still sitting nice. They're still top ten. They're in ninth place. So I mean, dude, you know what's killing me right now? Tell me. <sighs> The Stamford Bridge boys, Chelsea Blues, man. I got the Chelsea Blues right now. Dude, Chelsea's still doing the damn thing, man. I, I didn't expect Frank Lampard to come into this team. Granted, a lot of experience in the squad still. It's like he was coming into United where everything's all everything's all over the place. But to play Mason Mountain, who's absolutely balling, man. Like Mason He's Mountain, balling, dude. And they could have lost. They could have lost this game, man. Watford had some chances, especially at the end. They almost um, had a goal at the end. But yeah, they yeah. Realize. But somehow, some way, man, Chelsea keep finding a way. Tammy Abraham, Another again, goal. my bro's prediction and your boy's uh, prediction, it, it keeps looking good right now. He keeps looking like he has that potential so to be ten special. Goals? Right? Ten, ten goals in 11 games. Look, goal and finish, an assist this game, that, too. Bo- no, the ball, Jeez. the assist from Georgina. Oh, my God. Come bro. on now. That was that. When you say, oh, look at that pass. No, that, was that, pass, that pass was better than the goal. That, so that, a lot that, of people, that's, that's a Napoli Jorginho pass, man. That, there was none of that Jorginho last season. Whatever, whatever. Sorry, ha- I mean, it just wasn't. He was a different player, man. He was almost. He was ineffective. He just had bring. He bring the ball up from the defense. It, it spread first year in the that, EPL. You know what? That, no, that's what a lot of people say, say about Jorginho. I don't know what he does. What does he do, man? You know what's funny? He controls the tempo, man. But like it's those 100%. crucial passes through the lines. He did it for Napoli for years, and last year there wasn't. Dude, he didn't, he didn't register an assist or like or a crucial pass for no, for months. It's it's hilarious that. Under Sarri, where at Napoli, he was, like, very integral to how they got second place and barely lost out to the league that year. And then last year with Sarri in Chelsea. Maybe it is the whole Premier League Blues thing, but he looks more, like, he looks more adventurous. He looks more dangerous going forward with the ball. Like, we never knew. Adventurous? You like that? Is that the type you like? Adventurous? Sure, I guess. (laughs) We never saw last season those killer balls through the middle. Like, and he is attempting them multiple times a game. Who was their striker last season? Olivier Giroud. No speed. So that's my thing is... You get, you get a proper out striker, on the Iguain. Yeah, so like he plays in accordance to what he has. He's going to play a lot more balls to feet. And you got Olivier Giroud up top. You know, and I think but he, having but faster he guys... Make he can't make those runs behind the lines. Tammy Abraham's a complete forward in terms of he can hold up play. He can turn and run it behind. He can run at a defender. That's yeah. what I mean. Right, and he's he's shown so far to be clinical. So Chelsea looked dangerous. Pulisic, 
still in the fucking goals here. It was around the 55th minute. I was like, I don't know, man. He might get subbed off. Bang! Kid pops up. Like, when it rains, it pours. Well done there. Who crossed it in? Tammy. Tammy. Tammy with a nice little assist yeah. as well. Did well to hold his run up. My God, man. Chelsea is something to scare me, man. Dude, it's crazy, man, because Pedro can't even get a sniff anymore. He played He played in the League Cup last week against United. But Pedro has almost become like a non-factor. I mean, Willian is the starter. He wasn't even on out. the bench. No. He's also coming back from injury, no. guys. Yeah. Pedro? Pedro, yeah, he's coming back. He's going to have a hard time getting back in the team, man. And your boy Bash White came on and did nothing, as usual. So That's Not true. as usual. Wrong. Batman picks and chooses. So this Does whole he? so this whole transfer situation was this a blessing in disguise for Chelsea? Yeah. So they could actually regroup. They allowed Lampard to get take the team with no almost zero pressure. Well, they hired the right guys. He, uh, us, I mean, he did in the championship with Derby, almost got them promoted. Uh, Frank knows the club. Not that that's not that's that's the world, but Ole Gunnar Solskjaer knows the club. That's what I'm saying. It's it's not everything. <laughs> it's, it's not the, it's not a, it's not a key factor. In thing, being I'll... successful as a manager, but to trust in the youth, to play the youth, and to have guys like Will Young and uh, and Aspie and Kepa, <laughs> yeah, that helps. Kante, Premier League, you know what I mean? Champion, like you have you experience, have, yeah. But the fact that Lampard was coaching in the division right underneath the Premier League also helps. Like for me, the the jump of Ole from Norway. Oh, it's completely man, different. Such a fuck. Oh man. yeah, you go from Maldi to zero to hundred real quick. Come on, man. Come on. And uh, here's the thing. With- and, and the transfer ban to answer Huss's question was a blessing in disguise. Because how long have I been saying if you're 22 and under at Chelsea, you're not going to get game no. time? No, so they out. have to play these kids now because they don't but have dude, a choice. I said Mason Mount before, man. But you see, his, he almost had a goal this game with a crazy header. A guy can do anything, left or right. He can cross the ball. He can score goals. All of a sudden, this. England has a flock of like center attacking mids: Jack Grealish, so, James Madison, so, I mean, Mason, Mason Mount. Mount. I, again, Jesus. this wasn't this was an this was not a normal situation where there was a transfer ban. Because a transfer ban, where you're thinking, oh, they don't get any players in. They got Tammy Abraham, they got Pulisic, they got Kovacic, they got Zuma. All come, they uh, yeah, those are the the well, players Zuma, coming Zuma back. Zuma was on loan. on loan, and then they bought Kovacic. They were allowed to sign Kovacic. So out of the eleven, you got four him. starters. That ca- that weren't there last well, year. Well, they didn't look like Kovacic starters. No, year. I know. I what? Kovacic. Oh, sorry, sorry. But he, but he is actually now a permanent. Yeah, starter. he was on loan. Because he, he was on loan. To me, but these guys point. have popped though, Hus. Because look, Tammy wasn't a starter. He got loaned out. But he was looking. Mason good last Mount year. wasn't a starter. He just popped this year. Pulisic, Zuma wasn't a starter. starter either. Sold Eden Hazard. He stepped up. He's, like these guys are stepping up. To answer your question from earlier, I mean, I I'm ready to like admit that they're the real deal, but I'm not ready to say because who knows? They got the transfer ban ends this upcoming summer. They just splash the cash and you might do not they see do him. they do they keep Frankie? They might not. See, I mean, they'll keep Frank Lampard if he finishes top four, but like, who knows? They might go out and buy someone to replace Mason. I'm not saying they should, but no, you, I know, mean, Chelsea, you know Roman Abramovich as long as he's owner and there's someone that. Is top, like what if Isco is available? I think they Dude, go. I, I think Isco's available. All and, defense, and, and, all they defense. Buy, I, and they buy Isco. Mason Mount's out of a position. Dude, I think come game thirty-eight, if they're in top four or three for that matter, Frank did the job. I think Roman's going to see that. I mean, Frank. I mean, he bought Frank. He's one of the. He's, he, he, he's one of Frank was one of the first purchases that Abramovich made when he, when he came to Chelsea. So, I think come game thirty-eight, if they're top four, why, why are you going to replace Mason Mount? I'm just, I'm just saying. No, I don't think they're going to do that. I think they're going to find a replacement for Aspie. They're going to find. They have, they have, have, they have, have to, James, man. They have. They're James pro- is the real deal. And they probably going to, if they could, if they want to splash the cash, they could maybe find a, a top tier to take over for Zuma, and she then they. This game. I no, but I'm talking about great next level, and then maybe they, they'll probably find a, a replacement for a Shuai and Giroud. For me, that's what Lampard has yet to show us is talent identification and who he wants to bring in. Now I know. Chelsea has a long-standing culture of Abramovich basically picks the players and you just say yes. Right? Well, that, That's why Conte well, left. that chick that he was working underneath him. Hey, hey. Well, I, I forget what, what her title is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Um, she said, she signed from, Pulisic. Yeah, exactly. Last year. So they'll just, hey, here's who we want to get. Integrate him into your squad. So we'll see if Lampard's able to get able to be allowed to even have power to or say to pick which types of players he wants. But I feel like he does have that ability. He just has yet to show it. Uh, Watford, for that matter, first team to to not have a win in their opening 10 games oh, they're done. for the second time in their history. Wow. So not once bro. but twice. Uh, 
has his boyfriend Kike Sanchez Flores. <laughs> yeah, he looked good in the sideline. Huss, I don't know if you saw him. He's looking good. Huss left some he's lipstick on his scarf. He's actually looking a bit. He's looking tired. You like him old though. <laughs> <laughs> bang bang! I love that dude. But the point is, even though they're so bad, maybe one of the worst teams we've seen in a while. They're only six points out. Dude, this, it, it's I wouldn't count them out right now. We're only good. eleven games in. I know, but they're. You would expect them to be further than six points. Is, isn't it, wasn't that match day 10 or is it 11? 11. It's 11 now. It'll be 12 coming up. So, But well, we, we, we look- saw this with Crystal Palace, uh, what, three years ago or something like that? Uh, I think it was me and Fareed made a little bet about uh, them uh, scoring the least amount of goals in EPL history. They were in rele- relegation zone. Yeah, it, was like, it was like eight games in at that point. You would go, oh, no, no, oh, it, was like, you, it was like 10 or 12. No, you it was, would fly it was it off the but, handle. But the point is, it was around this time. And then they just surged with like a because yeah, they brought in Roy Hodgson and things turned around. Now they're top ten, the stable club. Boom, yeah. roasted. You know what? Once the Troy Deeney comes back, once Deeney comes back, different what? things. They need him uh, back. Yeah, soon, we'll man. see. We'll different see. Different things happen. The Gunas. Yeah, we transitioned from one happy club in London to a sad club in London. One one Arsenal. Uh, Bar me and getting. Oh, they're going to say United. Yeah, there's a sadder club in, in Manchester. Though. Yeah, there's yeah. a sadder club in England than Spurs. I said, I said London. London. That's why uh, I said there's a sad club England. in Manchester. If you, if you listen, you learn. Yeah, <laughs> not one. Um, but yeah, Aubameyang getting an early goal. The captain, late lead equal. The captain. This is the fifth captain of the season, I think, that Liverpool have seen. You I mean, Arsenal. Liverpool, uh, Arsenal. What? Well, we did, we, we did name six it's, at the beginning of the season. Captain. We did name six. So, well, were there six? We got one more left in the season. Let's deep dive with you, Tom, because you know I feel like a lot of the times when we're on the show, we we just. Funnily enough, just go past Arsenal. You're like, yeah, Bobby Yanks card. Okay, on to the next game. Yeah, no, yeah. Let's get into this deep dive session with you real quick. Ozil played this game. Big start. Big, so, hey, he, big, yo, he, start, he started League Cup, which was okay, expected, because yep. League Against Cup don't Liverpool. give a shit. Yeah. And then he but starts, then he starts in the league. He, no, here's the thing. And then, I, I know not you, but a lot of Arsenal fans have been calling for, you know, you need creativity in the midfield. Jaka got dropped. Um, Aubameyang Yang and Lacazette both started. Tierney played. Torreira played. Dude, like, Torreira came in. Guy, like, I want to know where your stance is on him. This is a week by week basis now because. Look, he's got pressure the on him. What's going on right now? We know. Here's my issue. Even if we fire Emery, that's not going to replace the defense, fellas. And if we get a new manager in, are we going to be able to buy a center back in January? Might as well keep Unai Emery right now. The only reason you get rid of him is if he loses or if he's lost the locker room. Now, we have the Granite Shaka situation, right, where he basically protested against the fans. Told the fans to fuck off. You got the Mesut Ozil situation, where I'm very confused now, because the initial signal was, we're going to ice Mesut Ozil out of the squad in hopes that he leaves in January, and get rid not, of the 350000 per week wage, which I understand, and I was with that. Now you're playing him. So... Desperate. It's desperation. Desperate. Emery maybe had to have called him Ozil into his office, explained to him what's going on, and sort of backtracked on his initial stance that he didn't want to include him in the squad. So there's a lot happening at Arsenal. As far as Emery goes, we we did not we did not value and we did not identify our, we did not prioritize sorry our defense. We signed Nicolas Pepe, David everyone's Luis. fucking happy. And then we signed David Luiz on transfer deadline day. That's your center back yeah, guy yeah, to carry through the season. And Saliba's what? He's going to be 19 next year? So that means fuck all to me. It's not Delete. It's not Matthias Delete, who we've been seeing at the world-class level. Well, I, I think Here's they, the thing. Also, look, I, want to, I want to mention one thing before you go into you. Ozil was outcasted by not just Emery, but the board as well. Yeah. So it's like... His wages. I no, no, I get, no, no, I get the reason, but it's like now you're backtracking on that. Like... A it's a mess. Conundrum going on it's a mess. Right you, but you, you get to see why at Arsenal changing the manager... Or have you'll get a mini manager boost like most clubs do. It's not going to fix internal problems. That's why I'm not looking at Unai Emery like Emery out. I'm already seeing on Arsenal fan TV people saying Emery out, Emery out. You look at this game. Dude, you guys here. are in fifth. Like it's not the end of the world. Like the season's not nearly. But, you, get, but, but look you guys, are, you guys are just, we haven't been playing well all year. Al. No, but like it's not as bad as. I mean, it is bad. Like it's bad to it's the bad. To, bad to the core. But you're gonna the board's get bad. Hopefully. The captain's bad. The like, issue is, has know. it improved since Wenger's gone? If you look at it statistically, no, it hasn't. I see some improvements in certain areas. Um, I'd say in terms of uh, 
At least, at least the game plan. We're, we're trying to build dude, up a little bit more. Vengo, Vengo keep the same game plan week in exactly. week out, and it was just it was predictable. It was mundane. It was it was readable, I mean, and you guys were getting well, annihilated. That wasn't exactly fun, but here's the no. Thing. I'm saying at least it's it's done. It's, it's yeah, it's changing changes the week to week. It's not the same fucking game plan. But that's also that. inconsistency, that right? That's doesn't true. matter if it's changing or not. It's still but it it, sh- it shows that you're willing to change things to to get improve to find improvement. Here's my thing: just throwing the same thing out week after week. I get what you're saying, and I agree. That's all I'm saying. Saying, but it's not working. I know. Hey. <laughs> no, but here's the thing. The reason why Arsenal fans are frustrated is it's not because that they're in fifth place. Because all things considered, considering what we've seen, thank, yeah, no, thank good. you. Considering all everything we've seen, United and Spurs in the bottom half of the table or mid table ish, and Arsenal aren't Relegation the ones. Battle. Arsenal aren't the one, you know, pushing on. It's Leicester, who no one expected Leicester. To be Sheffield this United and um, Chelsea, who we all we all expected to finish in like seventh or eighth. You know what I mean? It's because and we did not prioritize defense. Well, see, I'm, I'm going to disagree with you on that one. I, I, I think that they misjudged the defense. not Didn't prioritize. Because they only had a certain amount of money in the bank. They got Tierney and they got Pepe. Okay, so... so but the point is... Well, what, what do you mean? So- how do you Socrates, disagree with that? So, Socrates has been a really good defender uh, when, you first, when he first came in. You said really good? For Arsenal, Dude, he's been average. To no, no, good. he's been good. When he first came he's been in, average to good. This, the whole time when he first came in, then they thought, oh, Louise, he's been a um, a pretty good defender. Experience. So okay, experience. That's good. Okay, Same thing. Then too, and then Mustafi, he defender. should be able to play a third defender at the back. But a we third know we've okay, been cool. seeing signs. And then that on the right side, on the right side, they're thinking, oh, Bellerin's going to come back at some point. We have Maitland Niles. We have Chambers. And then on the uh, other side, you got Tierney coming in. Then you also. I have the guy I can't say his name. did not prioritize but the, but the defense. Point is, cool, I, I think they misjudge rather than uh, didn't prioritize. How do you misjudge when the year before that that was our issue? Dude, so, so you're if, saying, if, you, if so what if you're saying is you def- wish they did not buy Pepe and bought another center back. Yes, that's yeah. exactly what I'm saying. Because I believe at the that's time, what I've been saying. No, I feel like at the time when they bought Pepe, I'm you glad, weren't saying that. No, I, I was suffering from battered women's syndrome, a battered Arsenal <laughs> yeah, syndrome, I, sure. where we didn't make any signings, and I was just happy to see that the board was willing to fucking spend. At least seventy million on a single player. So yes, I was happy that Pepe was was brought in, and I'm still but happy that he's in. You may but I, I acknowledge that that moment. Yeah. Why are we signing more attackers? Dude, we already you, have Lagazette and Bamiyang. You Lags have Lagazette and Bamiyang. Dude, spend that seventy, eighty on Harry Harry Maguire and or, make, and make or that or the guy you build the team around. Because yeah, look at how we're playing now. We got Lucas Torreira playing attacking mid or playing more advanced. Guendozi dropping deeper. Ozil was playing. We played a dime in this game. Ozil playing right center midfield. And then, like, look at his substitutions. Why was Nico Pepe? So, why have we not seen Mesut Ozil, Lacazette, Aubameyang, and Nicolas Pepe in the same squad? So this has nothing to do with Pepe right now. This has everything to do with the Arsenal defense. board so, no, and what the I'm coach. Is, what I'm saying is this has nothing to do with Pepe, the player. You just would rather have a bad defense. Yes. So even though, let's say Pepe scored 10 goals by now in the league. Yeah. You would say you would rather still have a defense than a... Uh, if the, it meant that we kept 10 clean sheets, yes. Rather than a player who's probably yes, leading you know the why? league right now. Because goals were never our problem. Look at Arsenal Football Club. We know how to move the ball. We know how to attack. We know how to uh, score. Well, I, I think everything but has been your problem for the last couple of years. Everything? I, or what, what, do, what do we always point at at Arsenal? We can't hold the lead, Hus. No, no I, I, I think record, the real we, problem is... We lead goals. I think the real problem is that even in this game, you almost have your top 11. You take Ozil out. You put Pepe on. That's probably your strongest 11. I don't know, man. With Ozil... Plus, irregardless. But you want Ozil in the if you play 11? Four, two, th- if they played a 4 2 three, one, Or a 4 3, Leno, three. Yeah, I'll name their best 11. Right now. Leno, Bellerin, Luis, Socrates. Well, Bellerin's Tierney, coming back from injury, so Tierney, he wouldn't be playing this game. Guendouzi, Torreira is the two. Ozil at the 10. Aubameyang up top. Or Lacazette up top. Aubameyang on the left. Or yep. the center, whatever. Pepe on the right. And then Pepe on the Why right. Why have we not seen that team yet? That's Emery, bro. And this those is, players and have been healthy never, all at the same time. Like, I've never seen with Emery. I know, like, last season he had that 20-game on re- unbeaten run and all this stuff. But, dude, like, this guy, he's too pragmatic. And certain, like, why is he, Torreira he over, playing? The- he overthinks it sometimes. And the whole thing was, like, players playing out of position. Why is Torreira your best defensive midfielder? Arguably one of the better defensive midfielders in the league, which we saw last season. Simple answer. Playing the 10. He doesn't trust them. Because he doesn't. this is what you do when you recognize a player is better than another center midfielder, but you don't trust him to carry out what you want to do. We have the slowest buildup in the in the entire league. He doesn't trust Torreira to pick the ball up in between the two center backs and no, transition it to the fourth. No, he He'd rather have Danny Ceballos doing that, who is trying to do, who's a, who's a better technical footballer because but he's Torreira more of an attacking player. 
Yeah and no because he was in and out. And it's the same thing with Torreira, man. Like, you look at how he responded to Granite Shaka being booed. He was trying to shush the fans as well. So, like, he's a guy who's came out, said he's struggling a little bit to to sort of meld with Arsenal because of the language barrier. So, that's another concern, man. Basically, PFC Nation, guys in this room, if Arsenal don't make the Champions League, we risk losing Aubameyang, Lacazette, a guy like Lucas Torreira. Ozil will be gone on a free maybe the year after if he decides to It could to get stay. worse. It could get a lot worse. And if we get rid of Unai Emery right now, I don't think that necessarily helps us, guys. No. Because the board is still the same. Are they going to be willing to spend in January? Dude, I see a guy like Soyonku, one of my favorite new guys to the league this year. If you watch him play, I mean, he's commanding. Physical, Beast. decent with the ball at his feet. Just no nonsense, man. 20, Organizer. 20, mil, 20, mil, 20 million euros to Leicester this year. Last year. Last year. He didn't play last year, though. Because of Edmonds and Maguire. I get what you're either, saying. Either way, but, man. But that, that's, a guy, that's a guy you pick up. So Arsenal need to go in January and sign someone else. I agree with that. We need to sign either a center back or de- a proper defensive well, midfielder. They're out there, and man. And be willing to spend 80 mil. What if you don't We're have not willing money. to do that. What if you don't have that money? We have the money. We're not sure? willing to spend it. We're money. not willing to gamble. How are you? Are you sure they have the money? Because they have because if you go to top two, if you go to top ten clubs, that quarter. revenue who who make the most money revenue. It's dead. You don't know where expensive. they spend all their money. You don't know where they spend. But all their the money. stadium's paid but. for. So Tot- Tottenham's got the excuse. Oh, we're still paying for the billion dollar stadium. Emirates. There's been a publication out that at the Emirates is paid for. So where's the money going? Pepe, we didn't spend liquid. 70 mil. We spent 20 on him now, and we're waiting for the future. It's small club mentality, man. So, is there anybody in mind for center back that you would want right Upo now? Upamecano from RP Leipzig. Young, 20 Yo, year old. Everyone wants that, but dude. But that's a realistic target. Is that I'm, realistic? Not gonna, I'm not going to say. Is it realistic oh, to Sergio leave a top Ramos. four team for a not top four team? Yes, but he's you're going to overpay for him. You have to overpay for So, if he's guy. going Champions League with uh, Red Bulls, he. And he's not going to Champions League with same Arsenal. Thing with, it's the same thing with Holland and the Aust- Salzburg. Like they're in the Champions League every single year. They win the league in Austria every single year. Austria and, he will move to Austria Austria and Bundesliga are two different things. Yeah, but Arsenal and RP Leipzig are also two different things. We yes have a better we have a better culture for sure. Hundred percent better history for sure. Maybe not culture because uh, culture speaks to present, but historically. We're just a greater historical team than RP, RP Leipzig, man. We've been around way longer, too. Yeah, but so. if they're the ones that are doing well, I mean, if they if they have a chance at top four. Timo Werner is linked with moves to all sorts of so many, clubs. So many Not players. with Arsenal. He's linked with Tottenham. Linked with United. Uh, he's not linked with Tottenham anymore. And he was, though. So, Lacazette, here's an example. Lacazette could have went to Atletico Madrid, right? Who were perennial Champions League, killing it with Simeone, all that. He chose Arsenal. Why? We weren't doing well. We were still in Europa League. So we still have a draw. What about same Pimpe? reason same reason, man, you I don't think that's as realistic. I want him. I'd love to get to get Kim Bembe. He's only started five matches, went on sub for two. He's not a league title. But you know how much we're gonna have to spend to get Kim Bembe? Well, hundred. Hundred. Hundred, hundred and fifty. So I don't think that that's why I don't think it's realistic. But Opa McConnell would be like, Look, Dude, is like Okay, guys, 50 you, got, to you guys 70. are missing the big thing, man. You know who's gonna solve this Arsenal crisis? It's Jose Mourinho. Oh, save that. Yeah, it's Jose, yeah. Jose save Mourinho. It, yeah, let's, let's move on to... Save it for what, dude? We're on Arsenal. The yeah. end of the, that's the topic of the week. That's not a topic of the week. What? The that's, link's happening? That's a topic of the week. But, I mean, hey, if you guys want to talk about it... I think the topic of the week is how awesome it was. That's the topic every week. Jose's been linked. He, I mean... Uh, and as of Co- today, Kovac not. just got fired from Bayern, so I mean that that's that's probably where he's going to go. Mm, breaking news right there. But before that, all week the build up has been, especially after this weekend where they tied again, uh, Jose to Arsenal. But dude, the team is in shambles, and he's going to have no budget. I think that's a far. I think it's too big of a reach. I Doesn't see, fit I, the club. I don't see Jose going. I love Jose. I still think he's world class. We've seen this story before, guys. How many times do we need to see an attacking manager go to a defensive club? Or a defensive manager go to an attacking club. Everyone knows Arsenal's an attacking club. We know that the fans and the board want to see pretty football and trophies. Trophies just isn't enough. So, like this is the, this was the man you this was the man you experiment. You guys kind of sold your souls in order to get no, Jose I, Mourinho. I think you guys were at where and United it was out. when when Jose went to United. It wasn't about the attractive football. It was about. It's time to like, Just win cups, and that's what Jose did. He won what two for United? And two and a half. Two, two and a half. yeah. But what I'm telling you is two and a half. 
at commu- commu- Community Shields. Community. Ah, at Arsenal, it's different, bro. <laughs> at Arsenal, it's different. Is what I'm telling you. I don't. Th- I think you're at that point now where like you guys got to win something because you're how how many years are you removed from your last FA Cup? Three now. I tell you right now. Let me get it right. Why would you want to just bring Jose in? Have win a cup, FA Cup, maybe Europa League. Two years of doing good, right? Pretty fucking great. And then you go that downhill. Third year you get, and then and would right back where we are. So I'm looking at a long term. If we get a guy, I'd rather be patient and Unless. find my Jurgen Klopp and go through Kenny Daglish and all these other dudes, Brendan Rodgers, who almost gets us there. I'd rather do it like that than try to sign someone who wouldn't fit the club. I mean, I, the maybe philosophy I, of the club. Maybe I'm just different than the rest of you guys. I think I think Josie's lost it. And Hush said it best when he brought up Josie. And it was a debate that we had a couple of months ago. And I don't you were like, like the reason why awesome. Jose, you said the reason why Jose didn't succeed at United is because pressing was in and he refused to press. I don't see him going to Arsenal. Like, didn't succeed, man. I mean, he finished in second place. He won two trophies. I mean, what is my Jose Mourinho standards? Is that succeeding, dude? In two, no, it's not. And now, when he came to United, listen, in two, were you we saying, were, we we're going to come in second. We were expecting dude, to win the league that second. In two, season. dude, we were, we were sh- the favorites. Dude, we were shit. Of course, everyone's going to. I don't know if you're the favorites. Everyone, everyone, including me, to a degree. But dude, you think it's still Fergie days? It was not anywhere close to Fergie days. We were, we were, we were shocking. And Jose knew it. That's why he said it's his best achievement. Was coming in second place with the shit squad. It's still shit. I mean, it's 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 up and down with ads and players. The three we signed last summer. No, you're right. It's still shit. The best thing we've done. <laughs> it's still shit. But dude, for man, you expectation wise, you know, I mean, two, in two and a half years, you want a league title. In two and a half years, going against Pep Guardiola and Jurgen Klopp, who have much stronger sides. You know yeah, what I mean? Look, dude, uh, well, at, that, at that time, you know, had just, one of the best rosters. It was either one of the best it, rosters, man. Yes, he didn't no, get, no, he there was, was no he midfield. Did not get rid of he did not. Elevate. But you still you had who had Zlatan, Young Rashford, Zlatan you had Lukaku, there, Martial, Martial, you had Pogba, you had Masic. Your striking lineup was crazy, and then you, you had Mata in the middle as well. At you needed no midfield, midfield, no defense. What do you mean you had midfield? The problem is that we had Pogba, and that was it. And he didn't want to play for the team. That's why I bring in Scott McTominay from the reserves to play because he was the only guy that had, had heart you and balls. one of the best rosters in the league. Right, that's, your, that's your opinion. Paper. I disagree, I disagree with nice that. on paper. Before, At that time, we had Mignolet in that. You had, you had De Gea. That's goalie, yeah. Yeah, one of the, one of the most, if not the but most. But then you guys invest in a goalie and a center back, and boom, you're Champions League winners. And that's what Liverpool so, got right because well, they that, signed the correct not dude. Only that. You guys signed Eric Bailly, who has not worked out. He's injury he's prone. prone. Good player, but he's really injury prone. Luke Shaw, same thing. You signed um, Luke Lindelof. Luke Shaw who, was old, man. Who's Luke good. LVG. The more I see him, Lindelof's good, but he's he's not win now. Jose's a win now guy. Lindelof wasn't ready for that life. It was on his list. It, so Lingard. Why was Lindelof on his list? Was playing well because uh, that's, Alexi that's who Sanchez. you guys were willing to buy, though. Alexi, we got Alexi. Okay. Yeah. That was not Jose's buy. Jose didn't buy Alexi Sanchez. The board bought Alexi to keep him out of Man City's hands. Yeah, but it's ah. still, when he came in, he's still a top player. He was on the slide. We all saw it happening. It was, not it was like all that. He did not, he did not. Dude, it was on the slide not at like Arsenal. That. We all oh, saw it. I agree. We saw the decline. It was like, all right. It, 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 this was a, this the was a question was, the if, is it a real decline or can he, can he recover? It yeah. was always it was on the fence and no, he, he couldn't recover. Anyways, he fell off the cliff for sure. With Jose, uh, speaking of United. You had, you had, uh, no, you had we, we Depay as well. So it was what? Was It was unproven. All these unproven guys. But that's what you keep bringing well, in. Daniel James is unproven. He looks good. Because he has fucking you know passion. I mean? He's got hard. One Basaka. You need to bring, need to bring it. More proven. Dude, Juan Basaka, hungry. Daniel James, hungry. Harry Kane, uh, Harry fucking always, Maguire, hungry. That. Once a week you have to do Martial, that. still in bed. Hasn't got out of bed yet. I'm kidding. Wow. <laughs> I, 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 I rag on Tony so you, all the you'd time. You'd rather have Daniel James and Martial right now then. I didn't say he, that. Because he's hungry. Is that what I said? You said Martial's in bed. Is that what I said? said James is that what I said? You're just trying to twist my words. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm trying to use the same words that you No, no, you're trying, trying to twist words anyways, to support whatever on, you want on, to God. say. It was something Twisted. that you said. You said that he's not inter- he's not willing to integrate his changes. And back to Jose to Arsenal. If he goes to Arsenal, he's not going to do that. We're going to see players, world-class players, the, playing out of position to fit his system. Yes and no. If Aubameyang goes to that left wing, because he's not going to be a left forward. Jones he's going yeah, to be, be a left strikers. winger touchline. You're going to lose your best player on your team. Undoubtedly, you're going to lose half of his goal production at the very least. I don't know. Uh, I don't they, know. Because yes, yes, he played there last year. He Look, did not play a touchline winger. He was that inside forward. Snaps. If he plays, if he, he plays under a Jose three. system, he will be up and I down. Don't, I don't fully understand. I I don't know if Jose will be unlikely to bend because he bent a little bit when he was at United. But not only that, but he's going for a record now. 
for EPL for the wins and everything like that. He really wants to get in so he can really get more records for and himself. You, and, so yeah, the point well, is, he this, needs though. longevity as well. He can't just hop on a team and then hopefully get a team well, later. Let me ask you so this. it's when he goes to that team. It's not just, hey, it's my way this way, my way this way, my way this you way anymore. Jose Mourinho, well, right? No, no, I'm saying you it used to be. I'm not sure if it's exactly the same person as same right person now. Man. I think he's just looking think, for the I correct thing. He's, he's come out and he said this, guys. He's evolved. He's but talking about Darwin and evolution yeah. and have to, you have to he's adapt. He's crazy. And, he said that at Ma- – he's not crazy. He's, he's, he's actually one of the most logical people in the world, bro. If you actually look at his – listen to his interviews, you watch him on BN Sports. He's on there all the time. This is a perfect time to actually learn from this dude who has said – He's learned, and in a subtle way, he didn't. He never quite directly took shots at Man United. But what he said is, next time when I get a position, I'm gonna state my demands early. My demands will be known. This is what I would like. If whether it's bringing certain players in, squad, um, backroom staff at Man United, he got backroom staff. He was able to choose who he wanted the squad. But in terms of the players that he would bring in, that wasn't given to him. Dude, the, play, they, they, the they, board they, valued the players more than the manager. Yeah, they didn't back him all the way. They backed him halfway. And when he wanted, who was it, like, Killeen? I mean, Bonucci and they all these people. Like, they were like, no. Parasitch. Dude, we no. still, we still need to write him in. No. Well, put, so, put it this way. If he gets Bonucci on that team, we're not talking poorly about Jose and his time at United. Things change with him back there. And that's okay, only if, one player. And it, sure, whatever. Anyways, just going back to it. I want to highlight one game just before we move on. Manchester United away at Liverpool against Anfield. It was the season you guys finished fourth and lost to Madrid in the Champions League final. Early October and November. We played with four fullbacks. And there's no evidence to suggest whether he's changed in interviews. I don't give a shit. Until I see it on the pitch, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to still stand by the fact that Jose Mourinho is the exact same person. Okay. If he gets a job in the Premier League, mm-hmm. I predict that against the bigger teams, it's going to be the same old park the bus, wait, counter. And that doesn't work anymore. That's what Ole's done against wait. every big six side He did that against well. Liverpool? That works, bro. Did he do that against Liverpool? Dude, it works. Did he do that against Liverpool? Did he do that against Chelsea? Ole? Yeah. Yes. He did that. That's how we won four 0 by sitting back and waiting? Dude, we, we, we won, pressed we, the entire dude, game. Dude, we won 4-0 against Chelsea by luck. By luck. That was a lucky four goals. Okay, so the draw against Liverpool playing the exact same way. Dude, we, dude Ole, Ole, Ole plays counterattack all day. What about day, all the dude. other games? But we press Are you just talking about the press. big games? Because you even said Ole presses sometimes and other games he doesn't. So I feel like Jose, guys, he doesn't just sit in a low block every game. There are games when he presses. When, when it's lesser opposition, he's like, yeah, we're going to press the fuck out of him because these guys don't have the same touch as you. They'll panic if we get them in tight spaces, right? You press Burnley. You press these teams. But when he sets up against the Manchester City, he doesn't want to press City because he knows they'll just do him. They'll just pass around him and they'll be in. So I think Jose's a flexible manager. And in terms of um, in terms of uh, tactically, I think he can he can adapt. He can definitely adapt. He definitely has a philosophy. I agree. He's going to set up in his four two three one. He's going to look to hit you on the counter. But I don't think he's. Look, man, he's still world class. Let's just leave it at that. I still think he's a world class. He, he still needs a comeback though to prove that he is still world class. So, do you, would you take him now that because he mean, doesn't I mean, fit? Also, 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 just because you're world class doesn't the fit doesn't work. It doesn't work it's at all. It's not. A, why would I pick a defensive manager? The only defensive manager, or maybe two, Antonio Conte and Diego Simeone, would be the only two like defensive managers I'd want at Arsenal because Conte showed me in the EPL he can win. Right, if you get him who he wants, and Diego Simeone to me would just so what change you're the right mentality now, of so the whole thing. So what you're saying is, if Jose comes to Arsenal, you're not happy. No, I'm smiling. I'm smiling. <laughs> so is that a yes or a no? It's a no. <laughs> it's a no because it's not it's, a perfect dude, fit. No Give me my Jurgen Klopp. You're happy. Can I please have my Jurgen Klopp? Can I have my my at Arsene Wenger again in, in the beginning? Can I have my Sir Alex? You Ferguson? already had him. You had. I time. want that guy. That's who I want, bro. Moving on, uh, Manchester United nil, Bournemouth won. Uh, best, best game of the weekend. Go on, Bournemouth! Josh King oh, with, uh, with, with a world class. class. Bournemouth is world, world class. class. World class. That is an amazing that a, that a team goal. that no one can beat. <laughs> Jesus, nice us. Um, listen, man, now. we let's not shit on Bournemouth. Bournemouth are good. This team, we've talked about it in the past. Man, United are bad. They are bad. Hey, we're, we're a Keep rough. going. We're a <laughs> how, hey, how, how is Marshall this game's next? 
Yay. Yeah. He's all right. Where was he? How's McTominay this game? Sucking fuck. How's Daniel James? How's the he? hungry one. Mm. Dude, Danny's good. Danny, he was good this game. Danny just James? not just not good enough to score. Yeah, I love how you try to rag on Danny James. It's it's you grasping at straws, house. It's funny. He's one of our best players this year. He had a couple. Which chances. speaks about your roster this year. Mm. There's gonna be shots fired. Best, oh, best oh, performers oh. this year. Not the best player, but he's been performing very Listen, well because because he's dynamic, dude. Because he manager. presses the ball, man. He 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 kills himself for the team, and he gets himself in a great position. He should have had a goal. In the game, Could've. but he fucking duffed the shots into the fucking back row of the stands. Young one. It was, it was just wide. Relax. It wasn't that. It wasn't that far off. Dude, the biggest thing. I mean, going away to Bournemouth, nil nil. Okay, I can understand a drawing away. The goal we can see to me was sopped as fuck. Lindelof gets dragged out, but Basak is on Josh King's back. He lets him turn way too easy. Got to hit that weight room. Uh, not even the weight, dude. It wasn't even a turn. He he, 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 ste- he stepped in to he win the ball. If I can try to flick the ball away, like he is the Spider Man, trying to always oh, win the balls. Joshua was juggling it. He was juggling a time to to eat a slice of pizza yeah, a little juggle, bit. Yeah, yeah every, every battle, time to call a girlfriend, see what she was doing. Everybody watched him settle the ball, but fine, just don't let him turn. The guy lets him turn, and, it's a, and it's you know easy. what that is? That's a, a full that's a fullback plan against the center forward yeah, right there. Of course. You got, I mean, he just got turned. And Dude, it, trying he to get against Harry, Harry Maguire is there. Lindelof is there. Maybe it's, it doesn't happen. Harry, Harry Maguire is there. It's not going to happen. He's knocking him off balance. It's not going to sure. happen. For sure. And Weak ass goal to concede, but credit all, all the credit goes so to So are, are we a little nervous about when I mean, we talk about Pepe uh, not scoring against this, but Daniel James has three goals. Um, three ha- he, he hasn't scored since September 9th. Two months well, ago. Well, there's a difference two between months. a player that's 72 <laughs> million and a player that no, was 20 nah, million. Yes there's no. a difference what? between a player that just came from a Champions League Lille side, one of their best in their history, and a guy who came from Swansea. Actually, it doesn't matter because... Why does it not matter? Not, yeah. How does it not matter? Because this guy's because, overperforming. Because and if now, you're and, and starting from Manchester is, United, you have to perform. I don't care if you're $1 or 100 He is performing. Million. He's a winger who's supposed to be attacking, and right, he scored. Right he has not scored for two months. Dude, he's still performing. He hasn't scored for two months. Dude, how, the two. so if you're not scoring, you're not performing. Yeah, apparently. So Firmino hasn't scored since no, when? No, no, that's what you're saying. That's no, what I'm he's saying. not scoring. He's not performing. He has, he's not scoring. He's not performing. He, had, he has two assists and zero goals in two months. Firmino's done I mean, better than that. But how, the point. Pull it up. Uh, pull, pull it up. That reminds me of Traffic Thunder. <laughs> Remember, Look, Vince, Daniel James was a kid, Huss. I think you gotta. I no, he's just, tra- the he's wrong just trying fight. to fucking pull punches against nothing. To pick, dude. You're trying to shit I on. Think. No, what I'm saying is that you need to get better there. You need to get better with this roster. Yeah, Pog was missing. Dude, we know Wait, that. We need yeah, more no, wingers. 100%. No, it's not even just wingers, man. This team is not a United team that we saw. Like, you know, left back. Like this, the the uh, the change and the the turnover on this team <laughs> is the exact opposite of Leicester. You spent high money and you didn't get Lester. results. Thank you. Lester spent little money and got results. And look, man, uh, okay, it was a Rico, 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 down, going down Daniel James' side, man. I mean. James had a good game this game. I don't know what the hate's about. He had a good game. He I'm was causing saying, problems. I'm just saying the left back, if you're playing right wing, that's your assignment, left back. Um, that was a guy who was buzzing, overlapping in there for Bournemouth. I'm not shitting on Daniel James. I think that's Huss's fight. I'm just saying in general with this Man U squad, man, you guys get hyped, man. You beat Norwich. You know what I mean? It's all good. Look, look at look at the movement. Oh, Rashford, Martial is so pretty. What a goal. And now you can't get a goal away from home at Bournemouth. Do we struggle to break teams down? It's clear. It's clear and obvious. Andres Pereira playing that that central role so again. Thing, Do you need more there? Here's the thing. Bruno, like Alves, Bruno play, Fernandez. Here's the thing. We're, we've identified now at this point where a 4-2-3-1 and a 3-5-2. Like those are two, the two formations based on the opponent that Ollie likes to use. There's two things I've learned. One, if you're going to play a 4-2-3-1, the number 10 is integral. It's very obvious to say, but like it's been shown. Pereira's had some nice games. He's been okay, but like consistent, consistency wise, consistent. like he had. I think it was Daniel James who crossed him the ball. No, but it's cool. You just sub in Lingard in there, and you'll be good. Get upgraded that position, man. <laughs> and then secondly, I'm gonna tell you about the three five two at the, United. Dude, here's that, the, that's here's the thing. Here's the, man. Second here's the other too. thing. When we're talking about players and buying them, as long as Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is head of Manchester United, we're Brexit FC. We're going to be signing the English, <laughs> young English, like Declan Rice we've been rumored with, mm. James Madison we've been rumored with. We've been linked with Mario Mandzukic for like four mil, but like it's all English players for the most part. Well, yeah. they'll probably be better than your Brazilian signing. 
Fred has been Fred. good. He's been good this season. Been really? all right. He was good against Liverpool. He's, he's been okay. Okay, Dude, be, hey, before that, hey, the word, before the word, that, Chelsea, the game the word before that, I with, thought you guys were going to cry over thing. him. He was he was good the, the word he used was good. I didn't like, say he was great. I didn't say he was amazing. What's good out he's of ten? Solid. What's good out of like ten? Six, six. Between six and seven. Because to me, that's above average. That's not good. What's yeah, good? So let me it's above free. average. It's been solid. Seven. Once you get hit in the seven range, that's good. But, dude, the fact that we have Lingard coming off the bench to make a difference. Mason Greenwood came on, hit the post, should have done better. Unlucky. Fred had the Fred would have had the assist on that goal, too, man. A little right-footed dink over the top to Mason off the post. He's been very good at breaking well, up the play. It was the, it was the game, I think, against Newcastle, was it? Yeah, the right before Liverpool, you guys were like, you hate it. You were going to cry over how bad he was. Because he played poorly. Might, might be, yes. might, be talking, might be talking about a different game. I don't remember saying anything. But again, you were talking about the, the United midfield I'm not saying, four years ago when Josie had him being bad. Plus, you do this thing and you I'm take telling, shots. You but take what shots I'm saying is... Like he's been, he was good this game. Fred was fine this game. He was not the fine, reason. But like, he's not the reason we lost. Maybe in the long term, sure, yeah, we need an upgraded central midfielder. You need, but... You, I can tell you right now, this whole United thing right now... You guys have to really do some soul searching as a squad. Yeah, yeah look at the mirror. Will you look at the mirror? Because honestly, I mean, what you're you not go? who you think you are. Oh, 10, you never 11th? were who you thought you were. This is a 10, 11th place team, and like just looking at the roster, it is what it is. I wonder what McGuire is thinking right now. <laughs> Wrong move. <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> should have been, I could have been chilling with Sianku and the crew. 80 mil to fall eight <laughs> places or whatever. Seven places. Yeah, it's, been a, a Champions it's, it's, 11, spot. it's 11 games in, man. I love he, I love how he's fucking jerking off in his pants over there about how bad United is right now. <laughs> I mean, the nuts? First off, why would I be jerking uh, off Andre, in my pants? Uh, Andreas, <laughs> that's how you do it. I've seen I've <laughs> seen you. outside. That's, I've that's seen that's how you do it. Wait, 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 that's how little it is. Dude, Andreas Pereira, Fred, and Ashley Young are three guys... That need to be off the field. You know, I love Pereira, but... Ashley Young brings experience, just, though. I per- said play Brandon Williams, <laughs> but Ashley Young brings experience, per- per- and he shuts down so lot. <laughs> Fuck out of here, man. I, they're, hey, they're, hey. Just, they're just... Ashley some players Young, my bro's not here. Good. My bro's not I'm here. I'm saying right Ashley, Ashley Young, dude, Young. is good for a purpose, man, but he can't be... He's, he shouldn't be a guaranteed starter. Experience games, Plays top six... Games at best. Top six games, sometimes, yeah. Close the game or start the game, he should be on the field. Mm. But Pereira, he's been good recently... I mean, dude, you gotta get born with their dues. We got, we got outplayed on on on, on the day, and that's yeah. That's and we all were really... giving them, we were inviting them too much pressure. That's a, a shit goal to concede. That's a manager's decision, like to not let your defenders. Ole's at the them. wheel, dude. When we <laughs> when we go, <laughs> we're going off road. <laughs> we're crashing. What's up for the eighteen wheeler? Just fingers crossed. They Ole's just at the fingers wheel. Crossed they signed Jose. <laughs> fingers crossed. They signed oh, Jose, Jose, back to United. To you. How would you do? How would you feel about that? Jose? I would kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> I would kill myself. I'd take him. Oh, of course you would. there it is. Of course you would. There it Snacks. is. Just, just give him the money, right? Snacks. Give him the United money, finished, the money. Does United's finished in top six this year? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll finish top six. He's saying it pretty confidently. Okay. Listen, man, we've turned the corner up until this game. We had like a, what, a 3 Bro, you had 10th. And you were 13th before that. Then you bumped up to like five because everyone lost that weekend or like six. No, no, seventh, I think, is the highest. Maybe it's not us being good, but it's everyone else being trash. You guys can't win a game home or away right now. Yeah, no, we're struggling. Arsenal's struggling right now. Still talking Sheffield about United. Shit can Sheffield United keep it up? Because they're sixth right now. Tottenham. They, <laughs> we know Sheffield can't keep it up. It, you know what I the mean? The Blades. And then, and then we got Tottenham as we transition into that game. Dude, Sucking a dick. When was the last time they won a game that wasn't that wasn't in the Champions 2018. League? 2018. Horrible away form. They haven't Spurs. won an away game longer than we haven't won an away game before we won. And it's great. It's it's amazing, man. Honestly, I'm kind of with uh, Tom with the three five two for United. Put, I mean, it's put Martial right and Rashford up top. Should have been doing use, this. Use James on the side as a. I think, I think it's more of a three-four-three three where we'll have like Martial in the little hole, and then on the flanks you'll have. My flanks. thing is, you don't have a good enough central midfielder to play three-four-three because three. now we're talking about two center we midfielders well, versus three. Get, once, once Pogba comes back, we might. I, He's I, more attacking. Who's gonna? Who's a defensive stalwart? That's true. Maybe I want to play McTominay, dude. Are you kidding me? McTominay. Nah, I don't the think dude. it's that like. I really obvious. don't think Scott McTominay has been good this season. He's no, been, I think he's been good. I think he's been um he's definitely, been a, seven definitely or eight above out of average. Time. Yeah, I think Scott McTominay has been good. He's so been coming I, up, I, popping up with goals. See, but man, it's, McTom- um, McTominay is the guy that gets the ball and always plays it forward. Almost either, either he's driving forward and making a pass, or he's passing directly forward. And Fred's the guy supposed to be the ball winner. Look, I'd rather have a much. Can I finish? I'd rather have a, 
Yeah, of course. Because I take a half a second pause and he's going to jump <laughs> yeah, all over yeah, me. Yeah. You, you need someone next to McTominay who's a fucking battle axe. Someone who's like an Ndidi. You know exactly, what I mean? Exactly, bro. Someone who's that's quality why I don't think, That's why I don't think Pogba's you can the upgrade on, You can upgrade on Fred all day, man. Like, that guy can definitely use an upgrade. But McTominay next to him is fine. McTominay will make mistakes. He's similar to Gondosi where he's Whoa. been having a... How many goals does Gondosi have? He's been having a... He's not a goal scorer, though. Neither is McTominay. Still put him in the net. He's more attacking than Gondosi, no doubt. But Gondosi... McTominay's better than Gondosi. All right, fine. That's your opinion. It's not mine. But <laughs> either way, to me, they're in the same that? realm where they're young. There was a crazy world where Wolby was better than Rashford, too. They're, they're young Troops center midfielders. That. Crazy world. Yeah, 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 bro. So, strike is better than yours. I think this way. game was the exact you, opposite of what the season is where it has Fred rated higher than McTominay. Because, look, McTominay had, uh, McTominay. McTominay had a bad game. But I think overall this season, McTominay has been good. He's been the rock. I don't think Fred has been very good this season. I mean, Fred came in five um, years and, and relax on putting the ball in the net. No, he's only had two goals. <laughs> Big dominant. No, but hey, he's a top goal. He's a top going mid, 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 midfielder. <laughs> <laughs> He's got three or four goals in all comps this season. So I know but, he scored at least twice in the Europa. Look, I think McTominay. Dude, that, I think fine, McTominay man. is like, definitely good season. Good a season player. So far. But McTominay is a player mm-hmm. that United should keep for. Years. Dude, he should be the I, captain. I think they can Give really... that guy the fucking armband. See, this is the problem. It, it, this too is, soon. Oh, hold on. Before it, you finish, Hudson, this is soon. the problem Next year. with United fans. You see McTominay performing. He's the captain. Come on, man. This like I love I never... Scott McTominay, McSauce, the McTerminator. Well, I never, I never said... I, never... <laughs> I like him. No, no, I'm not saying you. I'm saying yeah. him. He's the captain? You know what kind of signal that sends out? I am the captain Jordan now. Henderson's the captain of Liverpool. He's not the best player by, by five Jordan country Jordan Henderson right now is better than Scott McTominay he is right now. Marginally, because he's in a better system and he's able to flourish. Two thousand. Look, going, as far as pure ability, man, like what? I mean, more experience, listen, more I love years. Scott McTominay. I think he should be an in and out, in and out starter at least the next three, four. I'm not, seasons. I'm not saying captain now or this year, but the you next. You just said give it to him right now. No, I just, I'm not. I'm not I, said, I didn't say now. Did you I say now? Year. You said next year. Oh, next year or the year after that? That's man. my fault. That's not my fault. You said next See, then, year. Dude, because De Gea is not about it. It's either, it's, 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 it's either Maguire, McTominay, Maguire. Rashford, too much pressure, I think, to be the goal scorer and the captain. All well, right, man, you, that. enough for you. You guys Why? lost. It. I have nothing to talk about. Next. You don't deserve all that attention. Go Spurs. Everton. Sixth place. One. Yeah, sixth place Spurs. If they're lucky. <laughs> I mean, dude, no, they were leading this game. game. I'm, I'm so pissed off about this game because, once again, Martin Atkinson, shit in the bed. Great, co- great manager. I mean, great, great ref. This guy doesn't call anything, by the Let way. Let the lads play. Now, now doesn't again, call anything. VAR, again. extensive in this match. I, I, mean, I think come on. I think he's letting stuff go, thinking VAR is in his back okay. pocket. If they see something, they'll call back. He's always been like this, though. I know, but I think he's... No, I don't think he's... I think he's letting him play even a little bit more. Even at the very end of the game, uh, Did he manage I, can't, I can't think of who it was. Someone made a turn, and then they got bodied with the leg, and they went over... Richardson in the box Johnson. against so, Davison Sanchez. I, I, That's I a think, Stone Cold PK. I think if there's no VAR... He's calling that. But they that. didn't review it. That's what I'm saying. No, they didn't review that. The one where, where that's what that's the part that's fucking no. driving me mad no, is right. they didn't even review when Richard Richardson's one on one against Davison Sanchez. He turns him. It's a clear foul. It's in the box. PK. But then there was one before that. Fucking Deli Ali phantom handball. That's not a handball. That call takes ten minutes to was- decipher. The central referee's looking like a fucking duck. He's just standing there. He can't even walk over and, and, and go to the actual TV screen and read for himself whether there's a handball or not. Well, you look at that for well, ten that, minutes. Well, you that's, don't even look once well, at the Richardson one. So what I'm saying on, is, what bro. I'm what I'm saying is, is that if there was no VAR, he probably calls it. But because there's VAR, he's not calling that. And the problem is that Where's they're not... Where's the VAR? Ca- what I'm saying is VAR should have called that, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, what the hell? Why no, see, they? The, pro- the problem with the VAR it's is... It's a missed call. The problem with the VAR is that if you don't call the penalty, if there is, and the, and the game ball stays in balance for another two minutes, it's gone. Yeah, but they didn't even review it. I'm you not, can still I'm review it. I'm saying if the ball goes out right away, they're more likely... To, I've seen it and from what it seems like. The ball goes out a minute, a second later, then they'll review it. Someone's not you doing know? their jobs then, But bro. if they don't call it... If you don't call it and then all right, we'll it, not a penalty going the other way. But they can bring him back. Like, that's the thing with yeah, VAR. You, you, you I agree. Can, you know, I, if I it's not a penalty, like, all right, guys, got it wrong. It's not a the penalty. The moment's gone. But if it's as stone cold as that, who was it? Anthony Taylor watching in the in the booth or whatnot? I think so. Why How didn't Webb? he call it? Did Why Martin he? Atkinson, did he, ref the, did he ref the United-Liverpool game too? I think that may have been Michael Oliver. Michael Oliver. No, I think it was Martin Atkinson. I don't know. Maybe it was. Maybe it was that, Atkinson. Because in that game as well, I know that's a derby and it's different than Everton versus Tottenham, but there was the whole Still a battle. call, the 
all the other, that all stuff. So it Dude. seems like he's that type of guy that he lets it play on. He just lets it's... him play, man. He's one of those refs, bro. And it's it's bullshit. And especially considering Everton could have won this game two one. That that PK would have changed um, the game because Everton would have went out first. Him. Moments after that PK doesn't get called, nothing. All of a sudden, Dele Ali running down. Literally seconds later, Dele Ali running down the other side. He gets himself a goal. Well, okay, I mean, so that forget, forget about Awobi. Forget about that. This is forget about that. Even go uh, further into the game. We have Rickalson again. Rickalson. Richarlison. Richarlison. He got hit at the end of the game. Uh, who was it that clipped him? Was it Sanchez that clipped him? He was, he stole the ball from. Him. Yeah, he was running by. Him, yeah. Got clipped in the knee. Went down. Nothing. Nothing, bro. It, and it's like, and remember Mane and Sergio Aurea last week. Yeah. When Mane intercepted Sergio Aurea, even see him, yeah, got, Aurea didn't see him. He's going to play the ball and he clips Mane. To me, this was a similar instance where Sanchez didn't see him. He gets there first, but why? Why is the central ref not reviewing that? That's such a big call. That's two missed calls that they had: a potential red card, potential PK. And y'all know I hate Spurs, so maybe I'm putting some extra sauce on it. But legit, <laughs> legitimately, you, you, Atkinson you sh- not reviewing on the, the the it was a stone cold PK. It's like the one with David Silva on um I think we were playing against Wolves. It's the same shit where they're not even gonna review it. That's that's outrageous to me. Well, why is why is VAR here if you're not gonna review it? Well, it's, um, so let's go back to the goals. Uh, Dali Ali capitalizes on a, it will be mistake passing shadow passing it to Erickson. He knew right away too. Right away when he passed that, he like ah. Why is the be playing left back right there? Well, that's why he's not at Arsenal anymore. Why was he playing left back, man? He was at left. No, back. he wasn't left back. He was, he was more left like a, wing he, and he was more like left left no, wing. He was, but he was tracked back. He was, dude, like he, was he was underneath right. halfway. He was higher than Digne was. Yeah, because he was overlapping. He was he was like a Digne was overlapping. He was like down under left wing. It was soccer shit. So gets the ball. Megza, Yuri Mina, or Holgate on the pass. Deli Ali takes it. Takes a couple of touches. Buries it. Um, Thankfully, Tucson Chenk made a substitute Ch- here, Marco Silva. It's not Chenk Tucson. Um, I'm going to call him Tucson Chenk, uh, okay. but maybe it's Chenk Tucson. Flat tired. Um, either no, no, way, no, who got flat tired? He was, subs in, bro, and he gets the game tying goal ahead of Calvert Lewin. Fuck Calvert Lewin. This guy is fucking shit, man. Dude, he Mark, brings nothing to the. I'm team. not going to say fuck. Him, I wouldn't be surprised if you not buy him. I agree that he doesn't bring as many goals as he should. He's a striker, man. Striker's got to score. He's a youth guy. That's why there's love there. They're going like to hold Moise, on to like him. Moise Keane's not getting time because of this dude. Moise Keane didn't even get off the bench. Yeah. Richarlison starting at the number by the way, game. By the like, way, Sigurdsson subs on. They score a goal. Isn't that weird? Mm. Isn't that weird? This guy, this guy mm. I mean, I, don't, I know he was a problem last year and this year, whatever. Not fitting into the squad. Every time he subs on, they seem to score. And Hung Min Son got a, got a vicious... Straight uh, red. Went into a tackle with Andre Gomes. So this was it was a red card. It, it actually wasn't as He's, vicious. It was, it was weird because he started out as a yellow card. Well, the tackle actually wasn't as vicious as people think. What happened I think was, what it was is the he vicious just injury. Swung to foul him. Well, the the that? injury actually happened That's not from some. No. USB stuff. Oh, you guys uh, talking through the podcast? Thanks. No. All right, so, anyways, <laughs> yeah, talk about USBs. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, one at a time. So so the the son penalty wasn't actually vicious from the the slide. It was a foul. No, it was a foul. If he doesn't break his ankle, I don't think he gets a red card. I what? think that's a yellow card. When I, yeah, it was so, a yellow so card. So what happened tackle. was after he got he clipped the leg, Gomes he comes down and his right foot gets stuck in Underneath the ground, him, yeah. and then he kept going. So the way the way the other players were reacting from the pod, <sighs> it seemed as if his Jeez. ankle was just absolutely just. It snapped. It was dangling. Snapped, it was which dangling. Completely that snapped. Snapped. You saw Son. And, Son was almost and, in tears. And I'm wondering if there was any bone. Or anything because oh definitely it was definitely a compound mean, fracture. Take that sock off. There's bone showing or anything like that, or if it just snapped and it was just dangling in the skin. Well, oh, I don't think it was showing. It's just dangled. It and, just because the sock probably yeah, kept the, it. Yeah, the sock kept it together. I don't think but, it pierced through the sock. I, uh, but you you could see it dangling on the outside, and you saw Sergio. Ah, uh, yeah. stop talking and, about it. Oh, dang. And I could um, <laughs> you could see it right away. Son went over there, and he kept like he was he was devastated. He was he was, he was he was basically crying. And, and Atkinson saw tell- the injury and then gave him a straight red. Yeah. So I I don't necessarily think people should get cards because of what happens from the injury because that's a very debatable red card exactly. right there. Even though it was a horrendous 
uh, injury. Yeah, result for sure, man. But it was. But it's like pushing. If you push somebody and then they run ten yards, oh, actually, no, I'm not even going to do an analogy it, because good, the the, the severity of the injury it changed the game though. Where, that where, that where, moment changed the where game. Where was Harry Kane this game? By the way, he uh, wasn't playing. Out injured. Yeah, yeah, out injured. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. But it's his fault that they didn't win this game. It was, it, was, it was like no, fault. but it was like to be fair, if he if he played the game, won they won. Probably. Won. Yeah, they could have. Yeah, so if he, he actually, you know, mm. woke up. I'm pissed Lucas Morton to take his today. fucking opportunity, man. My boy, my boy Lucas fucking blows he was this in. season. Dude, he doesn't suck. I said the season. He's well, he's sucks. been in and out, man. Can you? Can he play consistently? Can he play? If he gets How f- difficult is it to fucking be, play 60 minutes one game, and then in two games you play 50 minutes, and then, all right, now you play Subbing 30 on. minutes. Is Deli Alli like, still starting? Is Deli Alli performing other than the goal today? I, I think, yes. I think, I, Lucas Mora? I think uh, Deli Alli... Over the past two so years, maybe yeah. Lucas Mora's not doing... Over the past two five. years? No, yeah. I think Deli Alli definitely needs to start. He brings another dimension to this team. And, not only that, there was a couple fouls that he could have got, too. But they didn't call. I, I, I think Tottenham is just in a... Weird era right now where it's going. It's a mentality like, issue. It, it's a it's, weird, it's all mentality. Yeah, it's a mentality, but also there are too many wrong things at the moment. Like everyone has something wrong with them at the moment where it's too hard to change it overnight. Yeah, they have I mean, to start. They have to get the momentum back somehow. They have to get the players to believe and want to be there a little bit. But it's just hard because the, idea the last they're not winning trophies. Think about how you know. Think about how many years in a row that they've done this same exact journey of fighting together. Playing together, and then oh, we came just short again. It gets old, and man. then you the Champions the League message. was the cherry on top for them in a in a in a bad way. Where this is the finest one, this is the biggest cup in the in the you peaked, in the son. world minus the uh, World Cup, and they let up a penalty early, peaked and they lose school, because son. of it. Peaked in middle school. That's that's Spurs right there. That was your peak. No, I, I think they school. peaked in high school, and they couldn't make it to college. Maybe that's it. Breaking yeah. news. Every- Andre Grom says injury came out fractured dislocation. Yeah, Oof. it's so over, man. This guy's winning. out for the next year. Well, not. So I hope he comes forget back, about it. Like, I hopefully this doesn't ruin his career because At, Alan Smith came back from the same injury. Yeah, it's just the uh, wasn't really the same player, but he still came back and played another whole bunch of years. Yeah, so the one the one good thing that uh, the one good thing that he has is that he was never known as being a speedster, shall we say. So he was dictates a midfielder. Game, yeah, he dictates. So he can actually. It's not like he's losing. If he loses pace, that's not going to kill his game. Because like, let's say someone else who like. Uh, I'm a try already. Yeah, like I don't. I don't Dude, really want to name pure, a player pure, and pure jinx mo- But you lose pure movement, man. Like even that first well, course, step, they, you lose. Like, it's not just speed. Like but, everything changes. But look at Fernando Torres. Process. When Fernando Torres got hurt. He lost that speed. His speed was his number one thing. First, yeah, Mike, speed Michael Owen was the same thing. Yeah, All Michael speed Owen was, based. Yeah. So, I have a quick touch, hour and a half in here. Sheffield United, baby, sixth place, 3 0 over Burnley. If you don't have Lundstrom, bat, bat, bat. that was your bullshit, fans, dude. Lundstrom was him up, bullshit. Picked him up when Hus called him out like eight weeks ago. You give me shout outs for that? Wish I could. I, I, I thought Tiki said he was his boy. You, you I, I, it was is. It, wasn't I his boy? Tiki's boy. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, Tiki. Hus dude, the first. Two, two goals for Lundstrom, <laughs> three, <laughs> assist. Assist. three assists from Muset. Uh, man, the blades. Sticking the blades. The knife Chris in Wilder has a, a good system going. This, this is a this is a statement game for the still blades, man. Because the dude, they Three still have not conceded more than one game, one goal per game. This team is incredible They're defensively. Hungry. They're hungry. They're happy to be in the prem, and this is this is a result that really flattered flattered them for sure. But man, like they are in this. They are in this. Right into Norwich nil. Pookie it's struggling over. to find a back of the net now. Pooks. I, I mean... Dude, Norwich second from bottom. Where they should be. Damn, Fucking cock teasing everybody beginning of the season. Taking points off City. <laughs> points off of Chelsea too. Points off of Chelsea. Pookie doing the thing. Where, it's the Pookie? Brighton back line here that stepped up this game. He's on my bench still. I still have Dude, Brighton on the come up. Yeah. I, I, didn't, I wouldn't have thought. Dude, Pascal Gross is back. Gross Grand is Potter. back. Grand Dude, that free kick they're in, they're in top week. of the table, man. They're in eighth place. But you also have to realize that... Um, the schedule that Brighton ha- has had, starting what two weeks ago, three weeks ago, has been very kind to them. Yeah, but so they, took gonna, the, they took the opportunity exactly. They, so yeah. if they're going to make a run, it would be right now. Yeah, so. they have to because they can be fucking. Because right? I was going to pick up um, Pascal Gross, and but uh, I couldn't. You should have. I, I wanted to. You're sliding in the fantasy yeah, table. You're but last. Uh, let's talk. <laughs> yeah. You're last. The fantasy king is in last place. I'm first. The king is dead. Who's first? Not yet. Not yet. Relax. To me. So both the mellow. Ding ding ding. So let's talk about Pookie right now. Biggest cock tease of the season. He reminded me of Rick Carlson or uh, 
Igalo. He just he scores six. So much, he has six bad. goals. He has six goals in all of them. <laughs> at, the they were in the first like, like four, uh, four games. games. So, so if you still have them, you might want to. So I, I had him for the city game. So I, I have him on my bench, <laughs> but I don't know if I want to draw like because I want to. I need to get a new defender. It's time like, to move on. Man. not doing it for me right now. Van Dyke's not. Dinya doing got it. A, he got an assist today. Did he? Yeah. Luca Dinya got in a dime. He got, he he got the man of the match. Yeah, he was man of the match, my friend. Well. Up at, he scored an own goal last week, so a trade off is real. Happens. Yeah. Either way, next ma- match in here: match. West Ham two, Newcastle three. Fuck. Battle, battle right I here, man. Newcastle, man. Fucking Brucey, I love Newcastle. Brucey, bro. Brucey, fucking beating United, winning Tottenham. again, setting up five four one. Let's be sturdy. Sit back, hit him on the with counter. With a team like they had, man, what else are you gonna do? I mean, you guys just trying to guarantee survival. I'm just trying to fucking stay up. And I like, dude, the center back chipping in. Set piece goals here at West Ham. I'm sure Pellegrini's going to be furious. Um, and second phase goal as well. Clark getting one. Fernandez managing to get himself one. John Joe. John Joe, the fucking dime of a free kick. Yeah, man. Bring him back to Liverpool, man. That's some depth. He ping ping. We know this. Yeah, you know, it's not a bad shout. Would... Jetro Williams as well. Sneaky fantasy, dude. dude. He's been balling. Sneaky. Since that United game, he, mm. cause he opened up, I think. Oh, no, never mind. I'm thinking of maybe Watford. But um, he's been balling since that United game. He's been one of the better. He scored against players. Liverpool as well. Yeah. Hor- horrendous error, by the way, by uh, Roberto Jimenez of West Ham, the goalkeeper, is just coming out Living when he's shooting out. Maybe he's hurt. You tell me. I don't know. But he got rotated out. Um, wow. And no, I believe well, that. Dude, I mean, it was 3 0, man, but West Ham fought back. Clears it up. Th- I mean, it was 3 0. Fought back to three two. Oh, just like you guys did in FIFA, but we still won three two, right, Hustle? Dude, we fucking mm, yeah. But you, what you about the quit? series? What about the you series? You fucking shut the game off with Liverpool. Out. Made you tap you out. Shut the game up, off. You were up three nil and four. It was four. Oh, four. Four nil. Yeah. It was the ninety fifth minute. No, it was. So we had lost. You I quit. wanted to get on to the next one. <laughs> hey, you said uncle. We made you say uncle. Yeah, that's right, Sianku. Anyway, Sianku. that does it for the EPL wrap up. We have some. Breaking news, which we covered a little bit earlier here. Um, in case you didn't hear, Kovac, the Kovac. the Bayern Munich manager, Fuck has manager. been let go. Wait, you skipped over Wolves. How? No, no, we t- they played Arsenal. Wolves oh, against yeah, Arsenal. My fault. All right. Any anything else nah, over there? That's good. Any other brain busters no. for me? Well, I just I, I forgot to to look this up. I'm trying to figure out what the longest matches in EPL history are because of Why? the. Because the hundred, uh, I've seen I've seen like one fifteen before. Okay. Oh, okay, for for England, one twelve for EPL. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. You keep, but uh, but I I hundred and twelve minutes. I think all those I think all those records are going to be oh, uh, VAR, completely gone pretty, in the next few yeah, years yeah. just because of our because already in that Everton and Tottenham game there was twice three times that they looked at VAR they had twelve crazy, minutes stoppage crazy injury. Yeah, the crazy injury. So I, I could definitely see the longest game. We didn't even mention Ryan Sesson Young coming on for his debut. No one yeah, cares. Okay, no like one cares. We're, talk, we're talking about Kovac over there. Yeah, fucking yeah. Bayern Munich getting dusted. You're fired. Getting, you're fired. <laughs> who they, who they, well, they lose 5 1? 5 1 to Frankfurt, bro. These dudes sell hot dogs for a living. Are you kidding me, man? Five one? Nah, I got respect for Frankfurt. Yeah, man. They've, they've um, do you? Keep, yeah, dude. They had Jovic. They had a pretty good team last year. Like, they sold DFB some guys. Pulled all over Bayern a couple of years ago. With Dude, it's just Bayern is fourth currently. They're sitting in fourth with what was that? eighteen points yeah, here. Four, uh, four points first, off the top. Borussia Mönchengladbach first place with twenty two. Dortmund come right on, in baby. RB Leipzig one of you third three. place. So one look, of you three got to do it. Bayern's in a what? Bayern is in a Get bad place. Right, I forget um, Jose. They'll have no problem doing that. Don't there were other it. upsets as well. Throughout the world, um, Barcelona losing three one to Levante. Actually, you know what? This is interesting that you bring this up. Let me ask you a question, Hus. What? Barca lost, and that Messi was playing, so it was his fault that they lost, right? Well, he scored. Yeah. So what? Harry Kane did... scored and and lost his before. That was his fault. They didn't score. That was his yeah, fault. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That was his fault. Yeah, but yeah. Barcelona lose, man. But it's the, only because you said in... Harry Kane was the best striker in the world. If you oh, didn't well, say Messi's the best play, arguably the best player. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Did you just say? Did you just say he's the best player in the world? Arguably. Or, so he's better arguably. than CR seven. I, I don't just. Want, I just want it from your mouth. <laughs> Is he better than CR seven? <laughs> you brought it back. He walked back. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
hand, I put my hand out, and then he was coming for the high five, and I was like, no. Uh, I Dude, pull that's the back auto. Stay on target. Stay on target. I say, I say, I say, I Levante <laughs> was it? So, so out of um, the four last meetings, Levante has beat Barcelona three out of the four last meetings. Man, they just have something. Everyone's got those bogey clubs. They get up to play you. They're really amped up. And uh, dude, Barcelona, Barcelona, like a Barcelona. Dude, I couldn't tell. You the, I couldn't tell you the last time Barcelona eleven games did have already suffered three defeats. Last year they, they, they only lost three times. Last dude, year, dude, they 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 go entire seasons before they start losing the end of the year. Man, they're still in first. Um, no, they're not. Yes, they are. That's bullshit. They're in first, tie with Real Madrid. <laughs> Just said no. Goal the, difference. The, 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 yeah, they're on goal difference, but still, I mean, Barca, bullshit. Barca, Madrid, and Real Sociedad all on twenty two. Atletico dad. Sevilla on twenty one. I mean, Granada's on twenty. It's I mean, from first tight, to, first guys. to six, man. I mean, it's it's first first to seventh. It's three points. Most unpredictable. It's league a three in the point world. swing, man. Uh, the Spanish league has become the most fucking ridiculous league as far as inconsistency. It's there for the taking. Unpredictable. Barcelona's down. Real Madrid, Raul Raul. Madrid is down. Um, it's crazy, man. I thought go, I mean, I'll tell you who's down as well. PSG losing to Dijon. Dijon mustard. Dijon. Dijon. Dijon mustard. Dijon. I love that team in, in La Liga though. What they used to be. Sporting Dijon. And here we have Dijon. Mustard beating PSG still in first by seven points, dude. It's a wrap. This is why it's France, a wrap. The French league, the easiest league to win. But nonetheless, man, it like Kelo Navas, who's been a savage all season. To me, he's been top three goalies in the world since he's transferred over to PSG. Maybe even before then, if you look at his track record, makes three an Champions error. Leagues. Um, yeah, he, no, he's yeah, he's been killing it in Champions League as well, and even in Champions League play this year, they've been doing well. But he makes an error in this game. Which would um, eventually cut PSG down. PSG like aim to go undefeated. Like that's well, they're they're already, they are three four. losses, yeah. three right. losses like, now. Yeah, so they still, lost dude, on opening day, dude. Still in first by seven points. They only have seven goals against all year. So I mean, who's got the most pressure on them, guys? I guess as, for as two, far as well, Tuchel, who? Valverde, Barca. Valverde. We know, we know, Kovic, Kovic dude, is two, out. If Tuchel doesn't win Champions League, he's out. What about hey, Valverde? Valverde. Dude, Val, I think Valverde's under the most pressure just because where he is and where he's at. And he's, I think this is his third or fourth this year in. Third year. And he won. He, dude, he, he, they won the double last dude, they, year. Yeah. They, they, the should, they should have been in the final. They gave it up to. The Champions League is what, was, is what uh, killed them. Came back home. Liverpool. Liverpool. Yeah, how they gave it because up Because they're up 3 0 at the home leg and fucking Usman Dembele 1v1 with, uh, with the goalie. <laughs> So, and he trips over his own and dick. And Roma the year before that, remember? How yeah. they capitulated to Roma? Yeah. So, look, man. But what do you guys think about. Jose Mourinho going to Bayern Munich. I think it's a possibility. I mean, that's a top, that's a top level club with full recruitment and full benefits. At it's kind of his bread and butter. Won. But that's a Pep Guardiola thing. You know, you go. I don't there. think Pep wants to go there. He does. I think no, he wants I, to come back. To I England didn't say he wants to go there. I think he's with Man City. He's going to probably take another sabbatical after this. He's been this. there. Yeah, he's been there, done that anyway. I don't think he's. I don't think he's going to Bayern. Jose. Who? Jose. Yeah. I, I I believe that he's waiting for that English job. Well, what's what's available? Chelsea now. Man City, no. Spurs. Manchester he United, said that no. he's learning German when, he first, when he first won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that was one of the options. Because everyone knew that was going to be one of the top team options. This might be the one. You think so? Oh, also, so, uh, so? In the Italian league, there was a conspiracy against uh, Juventus, I think, midweek. Uh, Italian centers are getting together to dispute the penalty call. Um, I think there was a call. One end of the field wasn't called. Goes down the other end. Cristiano Ronaldo dives, wins the penalty, <laughs> in like the ninety first minute, scores the penalty. So I wish U.S. Senators took soccer that seriously. Dude. That like that. Well, if there wasn't for the whole, well, they took baseball. They took baseball it, that serious. The, 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 the Capicoli scandal of the mid two thousands, where they were paying refs and gold watches. Oh, so yeah. you might just have a shady history. And then CR seven. But now, set. but now Inter is up there challenging. You've you know? been buying. Oh yeah. By the way, Inter. Um, Romelu Lukaku bags himself a brace. Hey, you want to hear something Weird. funny? Yeah. You know he's not the top goal scorer in Italy right now. Not yet. That's okay. Chiro How Mobley. many? Chiro Mobley, I got. I named him my list when you asked me to bring a name of five people. Yeah. It's actually leading. All the right. League. So how many okay. goals does Lukaku have? Nine. You no. Know? Nine. Okay, wow, nice. How many How many do um, Rashford, Martial, and Lingard have combined? Less than nine. <laughs> I got to throw them in there, Mouwalk. So, Come on, Mouwalk. I got to throw them in there. Seven goals for Rashford, four goals for Martial. That's more than Lukaku. Ah, barely. Also, Take, so barely. barely. Hey. Takes two. One-man oh, wrecking crew. We get it. United sucks. <laughs> yeah, also, CR7's mother says that there's a soccer mafia. 
keeping him away from winning <laughs> trophies Valor. because Valor. it's only if you're Spanish or, or playing in Spain or England. Kinda what do you think wild. about that, guys? Lady, you're wildin'. I think that's too much. I think that's too much. And then also, I just we love it up. you though. Thank you for giving birth to CR7. Uh, Thank what, you. Was it 1942? The longest game, three hours and 23 minutes. I've been kind of looking up right here. Sock. Probably been so quiet. She looks up up more often. I know. <laughs> I know. I'll, I'll do some more. Yeah, no, this is actually kind of interesting. I know. He says. And then there was also a game in like uh, the most stoppage I read somewhere that was 19. Oh, sorry, 2000, 2001. I believe it was was 23 minutes. What was the game? It, it, uh, Bristol City, and I'll, I'll do I'll do more research. I'll come back next week with it. Yeah, Give me your homework, too. Um, Brent, Brentford to, at Bristol City, 2000, 2001, uh, 23 stoppage. It was yeah, a broken a leg, dislocated his shoulder, and just there's another dude passing out. Like, just, hey, you better wrap your gavel just, up, just B. Before we close out, back to Jose to Bayern. I think if he wants that England job, he should take this buffer of two seasons because jobs might open up in two seasons in England, and he needs that confidence boost. Where? Where in England's <laughs> left? Spurs? Man City, who knows Liverpool. What can, who knows what can happen in two years? He's already come back to Chelsea. Yeah, I'm just you, saying, who yeah, knows you, what can happen? Arsenal, hey, maybe. Yeah, United can be back in top four in oh. two years. Klopp could get sacked. Oh, that's really good. Who knows? No, in two years, that's when his contract's up, I believe. Right? In other, oh, news, in other so, news. No, no, he might not. close out the show, Carlos Vela showing the cuck that he is. Yeah. Oh, wow. What? He he beat, losing to Seattle Sounders, going down without a goal or an assist, playing a proper he team. He beat Slotten. Yep. No, he didn't face beat, to face. He did not beat Zlatan. He beat a shitty LA Galaxy team. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, no excuse. I know. But but yeah, but if they beat LA FC, oh Zlatan's Zlatan the best. Yeah. But if they lose, awful team, awful team. If you're a team from the championship and you beat a team in the Premier League, who's gonna get more credit? Well, both teams so played in MLS. Yeah, both teams both made same playoffs. Dude, they, they, one was worse because they were a lower seed. Got a TCB. I'm just saying, man. Keep the same energy, bro. I don't think you gotta call call my boy Vela out like that. We gotta call Vela out like Just that. Just he's an Arsenal failure doesn't mean you gotta support him, man. Dude, that's that's exactly what it means. Arsenal failures like that. That's your boy. That's your club. Dude, you even have a club. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, Seattle Sounders are a very experienced team. Seattle um, Sounders and, and Toronto meeting in the final for. I mean, this is the both. Time? This is both their third trip to the finals in four years for both sides. They got a monopoly on this league. It's you, ridiculous. You know, Atlanta United got to be thinking if we had. Who's who's do uh, Almiron from Newcastle would be in it. Almiron's been quiet. He has and he hasn't been he hasn't been producing, but he's playing well, man. If you look at his performance, he's actually he plays well. He presses. He he gets. He does behind. everything right, man. Just he can't get amongst like the goal. He's a goal or an assist in there. He looks like Franklin the Turtle. A little bit. Yeah. All right. That does it, PFC Nation. Please make sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Podcast FC Show. Anything else, gentlemen? Liverpool suck. Yeah, right, bro. Yeah, they do. Yeah, right. Yeah, they do. He is yeah, right. right. Yeah, they do. They, they still right. suck. Yeah, they do. They yeah. suck.